<laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be on Dusty. I thought it would be on me. <laughs> so the first thing y'all see is Dusty sacked out. Well, some of y'all might have missed it. <laughs> but hi everyone. Welcome in. Happy Saturday. I hope y'all are having a really nice weekend and getting a chance to relax and unwind. <laughs> hi Claire. I hope you're doing good today, Claire. Thank you for the retweet, by the way. And hi, Rakia. Great to see you. I hope you're getting the chance to relax and play Animal Crossing or do some art. Uh, hopefully no more schoolwork for you. And hi, Roni. Roni, thank you so much for six whole months uh, with the Forest Fam. And uh, thank you so much for uh, how long you've uh, supported the channel and been here. You're always such a friendly face, and um, uh, those kind words that you said in your um, sub message, that really means a lot to me. Um, feel free if you'd like. Um, I know I've sent you a sticker before um, as like a sub perk, but um, six months you can get a charm, get a little acorn to put on your, uh, I don't know, what do you put it on? <laughs> I actually don't really use these a lot. Um, I guess a keychain or, or whatever. I <laughs> put it on something. But uh, let me get the charm uh, Google form for you. Thank you, Roni, and thanks for the hype and love and chat. I hope you're having a nice weekend, Roni. And hi, Hallie. Great to see you. And Davon and Robin Fee. We had um, several golden trees in a row there. <laughs> Golden Tree Squad. And hi, Pylite, and I'm here to dance. Good evening to you, too. All right, so we are helping ourselves out here. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm going to grab a few items real quick, and then we're going to fly back to Bywater. We can spy on Bywater's flyover and see how it's coming along. Do y'all ever care about, like, how your flyover looks and, um making sure it has the right vibes. I hear Pumpkin yelling. Pumpkin's uh, making herself heard, probably not by the mic, but I can hear her off in the distance, like killing some sort of toy and making a ruckus. And hi, Jules. And Masella, hey, how are you all doing today? Ah, oh, no. I came over here with full pockets. So I was like, well, you know, I don't want to go, I don't want to go too crazy or anything. So I might want to take a few more things home though. So maybe I'll like dispose of a few things. I'm not too, you know, tied down to like these pear trees. I do not stand pear trees personally. Um, not my favorite fruit. Kept saying it wouldn't let me plant it there. Come on. There's plenty of wide open space here. Oh, thank you, Roni. You all are special to me too. And hi, Iris. Uh, how's it going, Iris? Uh, thank you so much for being here. Are you enjoying your weekend? Getting started on your uh, second island? And hi, Robin Fee and Rekazoid. What are you all up to? And hi, Harv. Oh, what a cute emote. Oh, that's so adorable. I hope you're doing good, Harv. Did someone say Ruckus? Oh my gosh, is that the whole, like, etymology of your username, Ruckazoid? Is Ruckus with a Zoid at the end? <laughs> like a trapezoid? Okay, I'm trying to, like, figure out how to get the most bang for my buck with my, like, three pocket spaces. I'm <laughs> like... What do I- which, uh, which seat do I take? Ah, oh, Muttley! Thank you so much! Uh, thank you so much for that brand new sub! Welcome on into the forest fam! I hope you're having a happy Saturday, and I just want to thank you so much for that support! Oh, Roni, thank you for gifting a sub to Harv! Um, that just reminded me, uh, can we get a shout out for Harv, by the way? A fellow uh, cozy Nintendo and Animal Crossing and 
um, just chill games and fun times over on Harv's channel. And uh, thank you so much for gifting that sub to Harv. Roni, I really appreciate the support. You're so generous. Thank you so, so much. Thanks for the hype and love and chat, too. I told my friends about you yesterday. Don't know if they'll watch as they have spotty internet connections at the moment. Oh, that's nice of you, uh, Robin Fee. And I look forward to sending that acorn your way, uh, Roni. Are y'all ready for the, um, the bywater flyover that we can spy on? You kind of forget the flyover, Masella. I know, I kind of feel like ever since, um, the rise of, like, dream addresses and not, like, Wi-Fiing as much anymore, like, when is, when's the last time some of you have Wi-Fi'd? Um, like met up with friends and stuff. I don't know. I feel like the flyovers kind of lost its importance, but um, It's still a nice flex and it's kind of a cool view of your island that you don't normally get Yeah, Jules is fussy about her flyover what Jules did she even like reset for a town that like didn't have the town hall in the flyover because the town hall is like the one place in town that's kind of forever an eyesore that you can't ever mess with or customize or anything so didn't want that in the flyover all right so here it is i mean i've seen it before but i've also been kind of like working on the town more so i think it'll be cool to get a little update of it all those lovely work in progress path pieces but overall i like the little section of bywater it flies over and hi peachy you're essentially a noise robot, Ruckazoid. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's cool. Makes sense with the with the Zoid. It almost sounds like a a gyroid username. You haven't started your second island yet, Iris. Working on getting all the villager photos first and enjoying the summer in New Horizons. Oh, that's good that you're not feeling pressured to rush to a new project right away. That you're stopping to smell the roses and enjoy the fruits of your labor with your previous island. Um, Iris has a really, uh, oh, I forgot, my pockets are full. <laughs> Can't clean up ground storage, our pockets are full. Um, Iris has a really lovely island called Sea Salt, and um, they posted it in the um, dream address section of the Discord if you scroll up. I highly recommend checking it out. Um, it's like a seaside rustic island. Ah, thank you for the follow. Um, I guess I'll sort through these pockets a little, maybe by showing you somewhat what I've been up to. Um, I'm a little torn though, because I could totally get rid of these bushes as well. Oh, thank you for getting that shout out for Harv. So you're playing uh, some Stardew Valley. Uh, speaking of like other games, I feel like uh, The Sims has a whole lot of hype around it right now. Like a lot of people will probably be uh, playing The Sims lately because of that. I mean, even I, I don't really follow a lot of like Sims content on social media, but I was seeing like the cottage, the cottage core update essentially all over Twitter and social media and stuff. It was even kind of catching my eye a bit. I was like, dang, uh, those cottage core screenshots look pretty nice. But I'm not really a Sims person and I'm not really looking to pick it up or anything, but maybe I'll watch uh, streamer friends play it and dabble in it. All right, so I'm doing my thing where I hide my bushes in the back of the island, which comes in super handy uh, because I'm running out of more and more space on the island. This is kind of gonna maybe be the theme of Bywater streams from here on out, is that almost all the areas that used to be a mystery are not a mystery anymore, and I at least have like a rough draft of what they're gonna look like. So now I just gotta like fine tune all the details, fill in like empty spaces and flower arrange and furniture arrange and stuff like that. and. Of course, I've got to finish my paths, which even those are kind of rough drafted at least, so all about the finer details now. Oh, 
Oh, Pange plays! Uh, thank you so much for this raid! Welcome in, Pange! And uh, let me know what you uh, would like me to call you in, um, in case I dreadfully pronounce your name wrong. But thank you so much for raiding and uh, welcome in, everybody! Uh, what did you all get up to? And feel free to tell me about how your stream went. Um, we're just kind of getting started here. I recently started up my stream and uh, this is my Shire themed island so um, it's all themed about like Lord of the Rings and it's got lots of Hobbit references and here's Gandalf and um, here at the Force Fam we're just all about like comfy cozy vibes and chit chat and decorating and creativity so welcome in it's nice to meet you all. Uh, also kind of catching up on chat since it's the beginning of stream and checking up on everybody. Uh, you're relaxing and eating sushi, Rekazoid. Did everyone see the E3 Wholesome Direct? So many cozy games. Um, I actually haven't seen much of ever anything. I've been kind of at like work all day. Uh, I did sort of spy on the schedule and I saw Nintendo was like on Tuesday. So I was like, okay, well, <laughs> I'll probably check out like Tuesday then and not really you know, pay attention to much else, because <laughs> I am the way I am. Are you excited about something so far? Oh, about like E3? Yeah, let me know what y'all think of it so far. By water blows me away and it's not even finished. So excited to see your progress each stream. Oh, thank you, Iris. Um, I'm sure this is not one of the areas that blows you away. It's kind of a mixture of storage and me playing around with the Grey Havens concept. Um, so that's what this area is. It's like the museum, a slice of elegant core, maybe a harbor here in the peninsula to sail off into the west. Doraini, ah, thank you so much. I love you too, Doraini. Thank you so much for that resub. Oh, thank you, Doraini. Uh, thank you so much for being such a sweet uh, friend of me and the and the channel and the community. And uh, thank you so much for continuing to support and be so sweet and chat. Uh, I love you, Doraini. I hope you're having a good weekend. And hi, Jay Large. And hi, Paige. No worries. We did a beach decor stream. Ooh, while having Treasure Islands going. Love your island concept. Oh, thank you. Do you have like a, an island concept yourself or an island theme that you're doing? I'm like over here trying to shove this <laughs> like around like I'm like, can I, can I get this someplace else here? <laughs> but yeah, it's kind of funny with me and beaches. I'm really bad at decorating them in particular um, because I usually use them for flower storage and I have a hard enough time like working on the rest of the island. So, I guess this is one game plan for me in my Shire themed island is making the, the place where the hobbits like sail- Oh my gosh, my pockets! I can't do anything! Let me take care of this. <laughs> but making the place where the hobbits sail off into the west. And look, this is even the west! This is- this is perfect. Like that Annie Lennox song, Into the West. You love Gandalf, J. Large? Oh, me too. He's one of my favorite characters, honestly. Um, he's like so sassy and just the right amount of powerful. Um, I just, I love Gandalf. And hi, hi, Joe Kappa. Welcome in. How's it going? Great to see you and have you here. Finished all your work, so you're present. Uh, what sort of work? Like, uh, work work or are you like a student? Uh, but thank you so much. It means a lot that you would, uh, tune in after your work is done. Uh, I guess I can show you all around a little, like, as, as well as, um, catching up and hearing what you all are up to. Um, this is kind of, uh, the rough draft of what I did, uh, with my farm. Feel free to let me know how you like it so far. It's kind of got like the mushroom farm down here and then it like branches off this way and hopefully it'll look nicer when my paths are done and there's like a little sitting area and um yeah I'm gonna fill in like all these 
with pumpkin starts, I think, because I like how natural the, the pumpkin starts look. They, they look like a real crop, which pleases me. I like it to look real and not look like mum cushions on the ground or whatever, even though that can work sometimes. Um, I like the realism of the pumpkin starts. Oh, the Grey Havens. You love it, Ruckazoid. Uh, thank you. Have you ever seen my um, Grey Havens build that I did in Bywater a long time ago? And I, um, you know, didn't really have room for it at the end of the day, but I did at least do it for fun. Let's see if we can find it, like in my screenshots real quick. My island theme is Vintage City Core, but I've already been getting the urge to reset and do a dreamy cloud-based town. Ooh. Um, I love both, both of those themes, and in general, I guess I just love um, any theme at all, whether it's been done a lot, like cottage core, or whether it's like super unique and never been done before. I have to admit, even though uh, cloudy islands, you'd think that um, that would pop up a lot. Like, I haven't seen a whole lot of cloudy islands personally. I'd love to see a theme like that. But those sound really interesting. I'm going to have to check out your channel and uh, see your island themes and stuff. This is my Grey Havens, by the way, Ruckazoid. So I did do a fancy build of uh, the Grey Havens, and then I ended up tearing it down. <laughs> this used up like four inclines. I was like, uh, I can't I can't do that. I can't use four of my inclines on this one thing that isn't even very Shire-like. The Grey Havens is technically not in the Shire. It is outside of its borders, so <laughs> this is what the Shire's like. Farmland and hobbit holes and all that good stuff. Oh, Rivendell, great to see you again. I remember you the, the last stream. Be lurking and working on my island, frustrated and trying to get something to actually look good. Uh, well, let me know uh, sometime in Discord if you want, if you have like any questions for how you'd, you know, feedback that you'd like or whatever. I'm sure you'll get it to look good. Um, but I know the feeling. I've definitely kind of sometimes not been happy with things that I'm building and it takes me a million tries and stuff like that. Good luck, Rivendell. Uh, schoolwork. Ooh, look who we have here today. Um, I did upgrade my museum. My museum was, uh, kind of the previous one, like the more sandstone looking museum. And, uh, I decided that the white museum, even though it has the dreaded red banners that we all hate so much, uh, it, it fits the, the Grey Havens theme more than the sandstone museum. Your outfit is very cottagecore. Oh, thank you, Ruckazoid. You know why? Um, <laughs> the last stream that I did, I had so much fun dressing up kind of like a, a blue fairy. Some of you might remember the outfit, or you can go and look at the VOD of the previous stream. <laughs> but I thought I looked so like out of place with uh, next to my island. Like I'm dressed up like a blue fairy, and my island's like just you know, rolling green hills and cottage core. So I was like, I gotta look more fitting this time. I wonder if um, maybe I don't have to use the wedding organs in every single spot on these beach rocks. I guess I'm getting kind of sucked into experimenting with the gray havens here. Let's see what the nuptial bell looks like. The farm is looking nice. Oh, thank you, Jules. I'm glad you like it so far. Do you have a dream address for your Grey Havens build? Unfortunately not. Um, I even kind of wish I took more pictures of it. I don't really have a very satisfying like sunset picture of it, for instance. Um, all I have are like a lot of morning and nighttime pictures. I, I wish I captured more of it before I deleted it, to be honest, but it is what it is. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. Make sure you take lots of pictures before you take anything down in Animal Crossing. Oh my gosh, can I please get this where I want? Please. And hi, call me Ferd. Welcome in. How are you this Saturday? Okay. <laughs> 
I give up. Let's let's uh, move on to um, either another beach rock or another area in town altogether. <laughs> this is not not working out. Got lucky on your island today, Rekazoid. One percent closer to my Lovecraft spoopy island. Ooh. So a Lovecraft island, would it have like lots of monsters on it? Do you have like the the monster statues and the Oh my god! I got it how I wanted! I I I gasped so much that my jaw like kinda disconnected for a second. <laughs> That's like what I was trying to do the whole time and I just gave up and it landed how I wanted to that was so exciting <laughs> My my jaw suffered though And Patina's over here like what are these pumpkins doing on the beach? <laughs> I don't comprehend Don't judge me Patina, you know a girl's got to do what she's got to do sometimes um yeah, whatever. I'm not touching those right now. Sorry, Bettina. <laughs> I'll fix it later. Oh, and hi, Hideri. Uh, thank you so much for letting me know what to call you so I don't have to guess or anything. Did I, did I pronounce your name right, by the way? Uh, welcome in and happy Saturday. Hope y'all are having a good day. Rockin' that medium acorn, I'm here to dance. <laughs> At least Cornerberbot says you're on track. It's too bad you weren't able to capture as much as you'd like. Yeah, I actually kind of thought I would uh, rebuild it and uh, record a speed build, but I have so much trouble like keeping up with YouTube. It's a big problem, <laughs> I figure. Um, at the end of the day, uh, Twitch is where my garden grows the biggest, so I've got to I've got to take care of Twitch first and foremost, but it was kind of my ambition to like redo that build and then like do a speed build of it. And um, I guess I never did. <laughs> so that might have been why I was so quick to like not take many photos of it and whatnot. All right, we got to we got to hide the red banners. The red banners are not poggers. And hi Jess. How are you today, Jess? What have you uh, been up to lately? Great to see you. Tiny beach rocks are hard. I was trying so hard to decorate one today and I had to temporarily abandon it. I know, like sometimes on stream you can feel dumb when you're like, well, you know, I think I can do this. I think I can put this item here, but <laughs> it's not working. And you, you just know that you have an audience like watching you fail at placing this item over and over. <laughs> Um, did you do a good job on your beaches though? Are you happy with your, uh, with your progress? Oh, I'm glad I pronounced it right, uh, Hideri. And hi, Punk. You say you're new to this. Uh, are you new to, like, Animal Crossing New Horizons in general? or uh, just to the stream, either way, uh, welcome in. We're just all about um, decorating here, and I guess I got a little sucked into experimenting with the museum and the, the Grey Havens idea from Lord of the Rings. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, the Grey Havens is basically just like an elegant harbor, um, like an elvish harbor, and uh, so it should look very white and elegant and dreamy, and it's by the ocean. And uh, I'm also trying to like clear my pockets a bit, to be honest. That's a little bit of what I'm trying to do too. Because <laughs> my pockets were full of this stuff, so I was like, oh, let's just try to drop this stuff over here. See how it looks. Two birds, one stone, as they say. Yeah, I think I might be overusing the, the, the wedding organs. It's an easy thing to do. <laughs> I think I'm uh, overusing them. We're gonna have to get rid of those by the museum. Oh, you're good, Helly. I'm so sorry you have a bit he big headache, and I hope you have a remedy for it, and I hope it gets better soon, Helly. Uh, major hugs to you. Everyone send Helly uh, healing vibes. So, Ruckazoid has this, um, 
Lovecraftian an island with lots of spoopy monsters, as much as Nintendo aesthetics can allow, but I'll have to mix a few Wiccan and occult and science fiction themes to help fill out the whole island. Yeah, that can definitely be um, something that's hard sometimes when Nintendo doesn't give you enough items of a certain theme in order to really uh, do it justice, but sometimes it can just take like lots of creativity like what you're doing and using other sorts of themes to help fill in the blanks. Um, like here in Bywater, I don't really have limitless amounts of like Shire themed locations to base things off of. There actually aren't a whole lot of like named locations in the Shire, but I'm just kind of, you know, doing things that I think are, are Shire-like. I put upright lockers in front to hide my red museum banners. Oh, you did it too. Twinning with our uh, red banner hiding strategies. Um, I did that in my OG island too. <laughs> it's a bit of an old trick for me. Um, it's a little unsatisfying from some angles though. When you're standing right in front of it, you can kind of still see the top of the red banners, but at least it helps a little from far away been working way too much, but I'm finally off today so I can stay extra cozy. Uh, I feel that, uh, Jess, I'm glad that you've uh, finally gotten a break here and thank you so much for uh, checking in on us. My beaches are empty as can be because I don't think it fits with cottage core and beaches. Yeah, I think that can definitely be valid uh, white empty sandy beaches with nothing on them. It's totally a valid move. Ah, I wanted to show off the hobbit hole a little in case anyone didn't see it from uh, the last stream. We did this um, last stream. We can go and check out the study as well. Oh, you're new to Twitch, punk? Oh, sweet. I hope you enjoy Twitch. It's a great way to enjoy um, games with your favorite communities and it's really nice to just have on in the background as you do other things. Oh my gosh, you haven't played Animal Crossing in years? How did you find your way here, punk? <laughs> oh, did you come in on the raid? <laughs> this week I was working on making my museum area overgrown sunken ruins. Ah, that sounds really lovely, Davon. It's been a hot minute since I've seen your island. I don't know if you remember Davon, but back earlier, early on in New Horizons, we actually like toured your island on stream. Uh, would you consider like an island tour at some point if you feel more more uh, finished with it? You can uh, put wedding board wedding organs in the back of the museum. Ah, yeah. I was thinking that too. Um, I worry it might make the roof look too busy, but I'm definitely going to play a lot with uh, with wedding organs back there. So this is the, the study uh, where Bilbo goes to do his writing and write his books and stuff. And it uses those same like Hobbit windows back here. I'm a little confused. So Grey Havens is the harbor in Middle Earth, and it's where you get on the boat and then go to Valinor. Yes. Um, essentially, the elves they live forever, and um, elves do at some point usually like sail off to Valinor, which is kind of like the Middle Earth heaven, and uh, the Grey Havens is how they get there. Uh, Frodo even kind of takes a journey to the Grey Havens because it's pretty much implied that Frodo is like too scarred to live on in the regular world. He really like sacrificed his livelihood and his happiness um, to go on that mission and uh, destroy the ring and stuff. So it's a bit of a sad ending. Oh gosh, I, I feel bad if I like spoiled it for anybody. Gotta be more careful. Oh, thank you for getting the shout out for Hella Blue Masella. Hella Blue's the fellow uh, Animal Crossing and cozy streamer playing some uh, Cozy Grove and New Horizons. You have a pastel cottagecore island, Hideri. Um, that's a really cute mixture, like combining cutesy aesthetics and cottagecore. 
Um, that's part of what I love about cottagecore, uh, honestly, is that you can do so many different things with it. You can have like an autumn cottagecore island or like a winter snowy cabin. I mean, all a cottagecore means, I guess, is just coziness and makes you feel like you're living in the countryside and whatnot. And I'm all about that. I wonder what we could work on today. I have to admit I was kind of tempted to like, uh, work on one final like mini build, which would be Frodo sitting under a tree and um, reading a book at the start of Fellowship of the Ring. And I feel like if I did do that somewhere, it would be near like the forest. So maybe we could pick a spot out in the forest to like put a little book under a tree and whatnot. Oh, lots of villagers around here. Let me show off uh, what I'm talking about, about the beginning of Fellowship of the Ring when uh, Frodo's reading the book, so that um, anyone who doesn't have the context knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, there he is. He uh, reads the book under this tree, and then like he hears Gandalf, and he goes running after Gandalf in his cart. So... Jeez, why is everyone over here? <laughs> <laughs> Got half the town over here. Party on the bridge. Oh, I'm glad you uh, love the force, fam, Jess. And hey, Targaryen, I hope the rest of your work shift goes well. Uh, thank you for being here. And I'm glad you like the hobbit holes so far. Ah, oh, Celestial Twilight, hey. Thank you so much for uh, subscribing with uh, Twitch Prime. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the support and using your Twitch Prime here. And I hope you're having a an amazing weekend. Thank you, Celestial Twilight. All the hype and love and chat. Uh, how are you doing this Saturday? Thank you so much. I guess I'm gonna dig up these fossils. <laughs> what is Crazy Red doing here? I thought like his ship was here. Why, why is he? Why is he wandering around my island? <laughs> I guess we can go and investigate uh, Crazy Red. Uh, it's been a while since I've like been at the beginning of the game and like had to introduce myself to him. I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know why he's like wandering around right now. So this is some exciting stuff here. New territory. Love your village. Oh, thank you. Uh, we're kind of in the final touches of it, other than the fact that I have to finish my path work. Uh, I like to do a fair amount of my path work myself, so that's a bit of a grind, but um, as far as a lot of the actual builds, um, we've made so much progress and the island is kind of going into detail work now. Oh, and hi Blackburn, it's great to see you. Did you... Um, track down any of those nursery items that you were looking for in Discord. Hi Blackburn, hope you're having a great day. And hi GPV, I know, I kind of enjoy having Crazy Red around my island. I actually like foxes a lot, and that's part of why I have like a little fox on my graphics, on my overlay down there. Um, so I approve of this. <laughs> Oh, you always have a uh, Red and Harvey walking around your island. Hi, Joe Kappa, you slacker. <laughs> the Harv like wandering around your island in particular. That happens like really early on in the game. Oh, and thank you, GPV and Javon and um, everyone uh, who complimented the Hobbit windows and hi, Invisible Man. Sorry if that spoiled it to anyone. I was just confused for a while what the Grey Havens was. Oh yeah, it's not really talked about a lot in the books, so it would make sense if you um, missed it. Did you uh, did you read the books, um, Ruckazoid, or just watch the movies? I guess we'll go ahead and talk to Red here. I'd know that shining face anywhere. How you been, Rose? You made the right choice buying that art for me earlier. I've had a lot of folks asking about it. Uh, you know, I really gotta be honest, I think I'm falling for Bywater. <laughs> I mean, you've got quite a setup going on here, and a lot of art fans. Oh yes, us, uh, us hobbits are really, like, art connoisseurs. <laughs> We're super high art. 
The elves have nothing on us. So Bywater wants art and I got art to sell. Might be something to this, but I couldn't sell it to just anybody. And since we're basically cousins. All right, so let's go and head over to his ship, I guess, and see what he's got. Speaking of which, we have our first giveaway to do. And this is actually perfect and goes right with what's going on on my island right now. The, the giveaway is for paintings. So um, definitely don't do the giveaway if like you think that it might like ruin the game for you or something and like not, you know, have to track them down on your own anymore. Like, so uh, keep in mind your play style. But if you want to, like maybe you have a second island and it's too difficult to track down all the paintings or maybe you just want some paintings to like have on in your in your own house. Um, anyway, exclamation point enter to enter that giveaway. And um, let's go and check out Red's Tint or not Red's Tint. That's me reverting back to the older Animal Crossing games back when he had a tent. He has a ship now. Get it together. And hi, Boomer, you're just begging me to talk to you, aren't you? That means the sun and moon are happy. <laughs> yeah, there's hardly a single cloud in the sky. Red is an honorary vi villager. Listen, I would love some more fox villagers. I think that would be really classy. I'll definitely submit my island once I design a few more areas and get some of my poor villagers off the beach. Oh, <laughs> yeah, no pressure and no no rush. I know that feeling of uh, trying to get your villagers off the beach. Meanwhile, I'm just kind of trying to figure out how to get over to Red's tent. <laughs> I'm like, how do I get over there? I think I must have been closer uh, when I was like on the other side of the island. Like this is starting to get into the weeds of my like forced perspective builds and stuff. So we gotta, we gotta go the long way around. I didn't really want to do anything with my secret beach, if you couldn't tell. Been kind of tempted to order an adorable New Horizons plushie lately. Oh, have you heard of the uh, Build-A-Bears, Jess? What do you think of like the Tom Nook and Isabel and Kiki Slider Build-A-Bears? Oh, I'm glad you found some of those nursery items, uh, Blackburn. And I hope you're having a nice weekend. Bettina's still back here hanging out with the pumpkins. I read the books, but I wasn't so clear on what it was. My first thought was, you go there to die? <laughs> and then I thought it was like the actual elf land, but it's just a harbor. Yep. It's just a harbor and um, there's something about it that kind of excites the imagination, an elegant elven harbor that sails off into heaven. Uh, there's a lot of pretty fan art of it if you search for Grey Havens on Google. It's part of what inspired my, um, my build that I did. And uh, good luck with the giveaway, y'all! Uh, exclamation point enter to enter the paintings giveaway, <laughs> which is so ironic with what ended up happening today. Um, I might get that like wintry looking painting because even if that one's a fake, that one looks very cozy and might could go up in a house somewhere. Ah, oh, but this one's definitely real because uh, the, the fake one is blue. So shoot, <laughs> I don't even have any other characters. So I have to choose between like genuine and probably fake. I don't know. Do y'all want to try to investigate this with me to see if this is fake? Because I have no idea. You're about to get on your game for the day, Blackburn. Oh, I hope you have a cozy Animal Crossing day. Let me know what you get up to. Oh, thank you, Chloe. Y'all are so sweet. Hope you're having a good Saturday, Chloe. The KK slider build is kind of creepy. Oh, what's creepy about it? <laughs> um, I have like a KK slider plushie. It's not a Build-A-Bear though. Um, I actually have two. I have like DJ KK and I have uh, the KK slider with the guitar. All right, I got nothing y'all. <laughs> I don't know if that's real or fake. Um, my heart wants the, the pretty snowy painting, but I guess my mind is telling me to go for the one that I know is real. 
give uh, Blather something to put in his new art exhibit. Oh, you want any Build-A-Bear one? Yeah, my opinion of them is that Isabel uh, looks very nice. I think Tom Nook looks very derpy. <laughs> Tom Nook looks like his his eyes are a little too heavy, like he's either high or sleepy or discombobulated, but um, <laughs> he looks very adorably derpy. And um, K.K. Slider, he just looks like K.K. Slider. It's a very respectable um, Build-A-Bear of him, and I think the appeal of Build-A-Bear is that you can dress them up, right? So maybe you could dress up K.K. Slider in different outfits and... It comes with a song as well. I don't really know how that works. How does it come with a song? Is it like 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 a little CD or something? Like, is it like you press a button and then a song comes out? <laughs> you can call me Kethry if you'd like. Ah, oh, sure, definitely. Um, I'll even uh, jot that down until I drill it into my head. Amy putting Red out of business. I know, right? <laughs> Probably the final few moments of the giveaway before I forget. So exclamation point enter if anyone wants to try to snag some paintings. Um, don't want to forget. Oh, so there should be more hunters at the bottom. Uh, thanks for letting me know, Ruckazoid. I would have cried a little if it was genuine and I was missing out on a genuine one of those. But I feel better in my decision now. I know this one's real. Got my second vaccine yesterday, so just been chilling in bed with Animal Crossing all day. Oh, that's good to hear. Congratulations on being fully vaccinated, and I'm glad you get to reward yourself with some chill Animal Crossing. Blather sure is blathering. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just trying to give him that painting or that that statue, but I guess it hasn't come in the mail yet. Gotcha. Okay, I gotta wait for it to come in the mail. It is not an instantaneous purchase. And hi, Lemons. It's great to see you. Happy Saturday to you too, Lemons. How have you been? Just bought a rare Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch stylus from eBay. They're so cute. Post them in Discord. Yeah, please do. Um, I'd be really interested to see those. I wish that there was more use for styluses, like, when it came to Animal Crossing. I think they could add a few more, like, functionality, like, maybe with pattern designs and whatnot. Burnt your kettle corn. Oh, you made kettle corn? I hope they're still sal salvageable in some way, because uh, that does sound really cozy to make your own kettle corn. I've never made a... I've never made that from scratch before. I think you squeeze its paw and it plays a song. Oh, that's precious. I love that. Did he not accept the fossils? I tried to give those to him. I guess I better pay attention real quick. Okay, so I guess he already has these ones. I'm a little surprised. I thought I didn't like donate anything. <laughs> I actually have stuff in my museum. For anyone who doesn't know, this is my second island, so I haven't been really hustling on the museum a whole lot. The museum has, honestly, sad to say, like, it's lost a bit of its charm for me as something to work towards, because I guess what I enjoy more is decorating, so um, the nature of it is that just that I'd rather be, like, working on stuff rather than running around trying to catch bugs and fish, and plus, if you have multiple islands like I do, it becomes too much of a hassle to try to complete each and every museum and like all your towns. Melancholia? Oh, who is that by Ruckazoid? It's cool when you can uh, recognize the paintings from IRL. And hi Steffi, how's it going? Great to see you. you get your second dose tomorrow. Kethry, uh, best of luck. I know a lot of people, you know, I don't know, the second dose can have some bad rumors about it and can have some side effects, but 
It doesn't happen for everybody, so I hope it goes smoothly for you. Mine wasn't all that bad. Oh, welcome in, uh, Grape Flavored. Thank you so much for uh, checking out the stream. And uh, welcome into Twitch. Part of the appeal is just uh, hanging out and chilling to some of your favorite games and uh, the community aspect. Um, I'm glad you find it uh, relaxing. I like Stardew music a lot too, and I like Zelda music. Got some Maple Story music in here. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love how like at the Shire, at the Nooklings today, we've got all the electronics for sale. We've got our big screen TV, our stereo, little boom box. I feel like no one has boom boxes like this anymore. I had one of these when I was a kid. <laughs> Has it been a minute since y'all have seen a little boombox like that? But yeah, got all the electronics here today. <laughs> Blather's doing his thing, blathering away. Ah, y'all are talking about that movie, Melancholia. Maybe I'll jot it down. A little tradition of me on stream as I like jot down stuff as I'm as I'm um, streaming anything that y'all suggest. All right, so we're gonna buy some pears, and I think that the game plan today uh, we might like work a little bit on the foresty area and try to create like a cozy reading spot under a tree for Frodo. So I know I'll probably be moving trees around, so trying to prep for that. Oh, the microwavable bags. <laughs> That's a shame that it got burnt, though. Glad there's still some good pieces of your popcorn. Fossil section is complete, but I hardly ever fish or catch new bugs. Yeah, the fossil one is definitely the easiest one to complete, but even that one... Um, I don't know, it can be a little bit of a hassle to track down the fossils every day. But it's better than trying to track down a string fish or something like that. Oh no, speaking of fossils. <laughs> Didn't really want another one to end up here. Can you all imagine if they add gyroids back into the game? Like, would you all rejoice in that? Or would you uh, resent having more things to like dig up out of the ground? Not ready for the sore arm again, and I have Monday off, so hopefully if I feel I icky, it'll only last that day. Yeah, that sounds like some good scheduling that you have um, the day off after your vaccine. Um, that didn't happen with me. Um, my second shot wasn't too bad. All I experienced was some like muscle aches, um, but unfortunately the muscle aches combined with my stocking job, which can be kind of physical. It wasn't the best day ever, but it wasn't the worst day ever either. So here's our foresty area, by the way. I'm not really sold on this mushroom stool, by the way. Like, I think I want to have something else here, but I don't know exactly what yet. <laughs> I'll try to figure that out. But yeah, maybe this is uh, where I could have like a tree a special tree that uh, Frodo can hang out under and read his book or something like that. Or maybe like a little grove of trees and then put a blanket and a book next to it or something. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Got approval to live in a community park. Ah, oh, congratulations, Steffi. I remember you telling us how your uh, living situation um, really got you down, so I'm glad you, you're getting that sorted and moving on to a new, a new place. Melancholy is a beautiful mu movie, captures depression in an interesting way. Ah, well that makes sense with what it's called, melancholy of course being like another word for, for sadness. Uh, speaking of which, I was <laughs> definitely having a bit of a bad mental health day yesterday so I kind of took the day off streaming and um, as a result if I feel up to it 
uh, depending on how the weekend goes, I might stream um, tomorrow, like as an additional makeup for, or like a bonus stream for not having done so yesterday. So I gotta have my hedges, and uh, maybe we should grab the pipe from wherever it's at and take it to where we'll be hanging out at, and that way I can go back and forth between my storage nice and efficiently. What events are in Wild World? Off the top of my head, Animal Crossing Wild World has the Acorn Festival, um, which is where our Cornimer bot comes from, where his name comes from. Tortimer uh, turns into Cornimer for the event and collects acorns. That's where like our acorn fortune comes from. Uh, there's also the Flower Fest, which is like a flower growing competition with your villagers. And uh, Bright Nights. Bright Nights is really famous. It's in uh, February and all the villagers put lights on their houses, sort of like Christmas lights, but in the middle of February. And oh, look at, look at all these cuties fishing in the pond. Fishing for that uh, small little fish in the distance. <laughs> Think the giveaway is still open? Oh, thank you for reminding Masala. I'm so sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and pick the winner without further ado. Oh, it was Lemon Avenue. I'm sorry for the suspense suspenseful wait. I'll try not to do that next time. So I'm gonna go over to Twitch and send you a Twitch whisper with the dodo code Lemon. And uh, look out for that like in your Twitch whispers. And um, the item will be like on your left, like bordered by hedges. So congratulations, I hope you enjoy your paintings. Let me know what you do with them. Are you gonna donate them or hang them in your house? Uh, there you go. Caught a shark the other day, though that was exciting. Oh, it's sweet. I guess it is shark season. Are y'all enjoying uh, beetles and sharks and all that good stuff in um, summertime in Animal Crossing? I have been neglecting such duties, obviously. I'm not even in summertime, technically. Like, I'm in March, so I'm a filthy time traveler. I want gyroids, but to have a se section in the museum to present them. Yeah, I even did that back in, um, like, New Leaf. I kind of created one for myself because there wasn't one in the game. I had, like, gyroid exhibits. Uh, it was pretty cool. I was proud of my little gyroid exhibit. I should show it in uh, Discord later. All right, so I have a few trees. We might have to get a few more trees to fill out this area here that we're working on. Gyroids are meh, I can play without them. Yeah, it's not at the top of my list, but the like hardcore long-term Animal Crossing fan in me kind of wishes that they were still around, if not just because of like nostalgia and stuff, you know? It would be nice to still be here. I'm trying to figure out like how I should uh, structure this and where I should put all my trees and stuff. Maybe I'll look at that screenshot of, like, Frodo that I pulled up for inspiration. Oh, thank you, Ruckazoid. I am feeling a lot better today. Uh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you so much. I posted a little preview of Tom Nook in Discord. The sound effects are adorable. I'm a derpy Tom Nook stan. What does uh, Tom Nook's uh, sound effects have? Um, he makes a noise too? What is he? <laughs> I'm so curious. Tell me what he says. Oh, I appreciate it, Lemons. It's really sweet of you all uh, to be so understanding. And um, it really uh, did help me out a lot to just be able to focus on myself and unwinding and whatnot. Oh, congratulations, Lemon. And thank you so much, Punk. I appreciate it. 
I hope we can uh, do a good job on this little uh, Frodo experiment here. I'm also kind of eyeing these Cosmos, and I hate the fact that there's like two orange Cosmos next to each other. So maybe I shouldn't procrastinate. Maybe I should figure out what's going on over here with these, with these flowers. Your foliage placement is always on point. Oh, thank you, Celestial Twilight. That's actually one of the things I uh, take pride in. Um, I don't really think I'm good at everything when it comes to Animal Crossing decorating. In particular, furniture arranging is my nemesis, like trying to arrange furniture in a cute way. But um, I think I'm really good at placing trees. Uh, look at this like pan up view right here. I think that's super cool. You're a filthy time traveler too, Danny. <laughs> Give you a little high five. Uh, part of the reason why I like to stay in March is because it's when I want to update my dream address, which I'm taking like pretty seriously um, from wanting to, you know, have the best dream address possible. I got to know how everything's going to look and the time period that I'm wanting to update that in. You're on mobile right now. Oh, you're good, Lemon. Let me know if you uh, need any help coming over, if you have any problems or anything like that. It's on my other Switch. I want to see a conversation between Tom and Red. I just learned the whole Tanuki versus Kitsune rival in Japanese literature. Yeah, they do have a backstory. Um, as far as I know, their backstory is that Tom Nook has always been like this humble shop owner, right? And Crazy Red is this shifty guy and they don't like each other. And um, I think at one point they were such competitors that um, Crazy Red kind of drove Tom Nook out of the city, which um, made Tom Nook go back to a small town um, instead of the city. Correct me if I'm wrong, Animal Crossing fans. That's what I feel like I know about their uh, their backstory. A small part of me hopes they'll reintroduce gyroids with Brewster. I always loved how he collects and displayed some in his cafe. Yeah, I actually know a lot of people who predict that uh, during me. They think that whatever update has Brewster will also have gyroids. So those of y'all that are saying, ah, oh, I could do without gyroids. <laughs> Um, might want to start preparing for it, especially if they add Brewster at some point. I think that would make a lot of sense. Do I come now or wait? Oh yeah, you can come over right now. Uh, I sent you the Dodo code. Did you get it okay or did I um, spell your name wrong? Um, if there's another way I can contact you for the Dodo code, if the Twitch Whisper doesn't work well, feel free to let me know. I have Twitter and Discord. Uh, so I'm just trying to go and find like all the stuff that I need. I guess I started my build not super prepared. I need some bushes. This is my little like bush hangout over here. Um, and I also need some fencing. <laughs> Why is Patina like over here like having a crisis on the beach? Should we talk to her? Is she thinking about sailing west from the Grey Haven? She wants to take that elven ship away from, from the Shire. Oh no! <laughs> she got carried away buying a concierge uniform. What were you using that for, Bettina? Okay, let's see what this looks like. Dang, she didn't even ask permission. She didn't ask if I wanted that. She just like handed it over to me. Oh, okay. Kind of reminds me of like a band uniform. All right, thanks, Bettina. Wish I didn't talk to you. <laughs> Gosh, that's too mean. I'm sorry, Bettina. My husband and I sold our switch lights today since we don't use them as much anymore now that we have regular switches and I'm so tempted to get a pre-owned 3DS, a new leaf. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that you uh, sold your Switch lights, just in case that would have come in handy, like with any extra towns you're doing. But at the same time, I'm happy for you if it means that you get to check out New Leaf, and I hope you enjoy it and will let me know like what you think of it and whatnot if you if you tried out lemons. 
And hi, Chinbon. Oh, it's great to see you. How have you been, Chinbon? Busy with school? Thank you for getting the shout out for Chinbon. I saw a Twitter account that draws a Chinooki and Kitsune best friends, and I'm like, that take? Yeah, it's like a thing in Japanese literature. The fox and the Chinooki are kind of like rivals, and the fox is the trickster and uh, the tanuki can turn leaves into treasure, I think, and so that's why um, we have these leaves in our pockets that turn into things. It's because of the transforming ability that the tanuki has. So um, I really like that element of uh, Japanese culture in Animal Crossing, and that's why I have the graphics that I do at the bottom with the tanuki and the fox. Um, all right, where's my fencing? Oh, do I not have it? Whoa, where did it go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm just like blind. It's over here. Oh, Chinbon and Rekazoid, y'all know each other. It's your Tuesday, Targaryen. Ah, today is my... Friday. I did work today, but I have tomorrow off, so I'm excited. I'm uh, gonna try to be productive this weekend, which I'm sure might end in disappointment. <laughs> I'll try not to be hard on myself either way, but I'll try to get some stuff done this weekend because I have uh, some things planned for the channel later in the month, like maybe a possible longer stream event and um, also a charity campaign for um, Trans Lifeline coming up. Um, at the end of June, so uh, I've got some work to do there. You didn't know that lore about the tanuki and the leaves? Yeah, I love it so much. I'd love to learn more about it, but I just kind of know that cursory info almost like because of Animal Crossing. Like, I don't know if I would have known that if I, if I wasn't an Animal Crossing player. Oh, and hi, Kelly. How's it going? You've missed me? Oh, miss you too, Kelly. How have you been? Uh, this is the progress on my Shire Island here, or at least a, a work in progress little snippet of it. Let me uh, mess with these trees a bit. Oh, thank you, Chinbon. I'm glad you like the overlay. I knew that lore, but I never put two and two together about the leaves being transformation tools. Yeah, I mean, I love it, but I also kind of hate it because I'd rather have the icons in your pockets so that you can see what you're about to place and you don't have to hover over each one. I feel like we have reached that point in Animal Crossing where that would be super useful. But I also kind of like the tradition of, of leaves and the lore with uh, the Tanukis and the fact that they even used it for one of their game titles, like Animal Crossing New Leaf. So yeah, I guess overall I, I like it. Don't be hard on yourself. Oh, thank you Targaryen, you too. I hope you all take care of yourselves and uh, your mental health as well. It's a time of like a lot of change and um, going back to things that maybe you didn't have to do for a long time because of everything that's been going on. Oh yeah, and good luck on your exam, Chinbon. Hey Maddie, your island looks amazing. Love Lord of the Rings. My island is inspired by Bree. Ooh, is your island done, Maddie? I'd love to check it out and visit it if you ever want to show it off, because that sounds really, really cute. Um, I actually have an area on my island inspired by Bree Village too, but it's off in the distance, and it's not very visible. I think I showed it briefly at one point in the stream, but uh, since she mentioned Bree Village and that doesn't come up every day in Twitch chat, I'm going to wander over there and uh, show you my little Bree Village. And the shroom, thank you. I'm glad you like it so far. Um, we're kind of reaching the like finishing touches of it and 
just trying to fine tune everything. There is a lot of fine tuning to do. I'm a big fan of like rough drafting things and then coming back to it and adding all the details later. So uh, this is my Bree village. I like to think of this being like leaving the Shire and the white buildings to the far left are Rivendell. The Stonehenge on the left is Weathertop or the Barrow Downs, whatever sort of stony hill you want to call that. And uh, Bree Village is tucked down there with all the rustic homes. Got a far a farmhouse in the top right corner. So um, that's my Bree. And this is inspired by like a little winding road uh, leaving the Shire. Oh yes, uh, those are all for you, Lemons. Um, the way that it works is that um, I leave out like a full inventory for the giveaway and then you can empty your pockets totally and then just like get all of them and uh, they're all yours. All my giveaways are like a full inventory's worth of items. All right, so here's a little cozy tree section for maybe Frodo to do his thing and read his book. And I'm thinking about adding like a blanket or something, like adding a blanket to put the book on. So I might go and scan in a code at the Able Sisters. Oh, thank you, Maddie and Shinbon. Uh, what is your Bree village like? I feel like they never totally complete, but mostly done and I'd love that. Oh, sure. Um, we have a channel points redemption for island tours. It's a thousand acorns if you can afford it, but I mean, even if you can't afford it, I'd be up for maybe visiting it since I asked for it specifically. Um, being a Lord of the Rings fan and being interested to see like another Lord of the Rings inspired island, so. Uh, feel free to uh, either redeem that with the points, or I can probably I can probably forego the points to see a Bree inspired island. Um, so let me just uh, look up this code for a blanket in my phone that I saved. Might take me a moment. I wish we could uh, put furniture items at an angle. The nursery is proving to be kind of difficult. Yeah, I feel you. Um, sometimes you can find items that are at a certain angle though, like if you look really hard because uh, like the bicycle is at an angle and I think there's a few other things like the well, but I guess if none of your, your nursery items are at an angle, that's probably what's causing you problems. Well, I hope I find this blanket. I think I did, yay. <laughs> I uh, like to take little screenshots of blankets with uh, my phone that I see like around in the community. Yeah, I think it's this one here. This one is super cute. Like it's a, a little yellow quilt, which will go well with all the yellow flowers that I have on the Shire. So let's search by creator ID. Alright, here it is. Oh, Mango, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. The Force Perspective is amazing. Oh, thank you, GPV. Oh, that really means a lot, Shinbon. I myself, I mean, I'm in awe when I see so many other islands. I don't really think, sometimes I don't think mine's all that in a bag of chips when I see like what everyone else has gotten up to. Uh, there's so many great ones out there. Okay, so we actually have a lot to choose from. I'm kind of glad that I pulled up this code. I have so many blankets to choose from. This is adorable. Do I want the yellow? Do I want the green? Um, maybe I actually want the green. Because that would go so well with like the Shire vibes. Oh, and hi, Mango! Have uh, Asperger's, ADHD, and OCD. I have trouble with uh, social skills and making friends. Have a hard time reading social cues, IRL. Oh, um, 
that's totally fine. Um, we're inclusive and welcoming here. And I have ADHD myself, as you might have seen from my tags. Um, I was diagnosed last year and I think it had a big impact like on the way that I took in um, like school. I guess I'm looking for um, a pattern to overwrite. Uh, let's get this other one too and then get like the, br the blanket frills. You like the Skyward Sword music? Yeah, I love Zelda music. Uh, this whole playlist is themed around like forest music. I don't know if it really gives off that vibe or not, but I tried to pick out songs that were like foresty. Oh, and sorry, Mango. I was just actually behind in chat. I didn't miss your message. I like to respond to everything, and sometimes um, I get behind in that way. Maybe I'll get better at it one of these days. Love your emotes. Oh, thank you. The koala's my favorite. Um, my favorite villager, Melba. I have her in my OG island and wild world, and she's my sentimental favorite. Uh, how about you all? I want to do a little, like, favorite villager show and tell. Uh, always a classic in Animal Crossing Twitch chats. <laughs> my island is almost done, so after my exam I can invite you for a tour. Oh, that would be so exciting, Chinbon. I would love that. Um, I know this exam must be, like, uh, really intense for, for you to have been, like, you know, so occupied with it. I, I really hope your exam goes well. Best of luck, Chinmon. And I can't wait to see your island. And I can't wait till you get a chance to rest and unwind and play more Animal Crossing. You've created the prancing pony. Oh my gosh, Maddie! I have to go visit. Feel free to feel free to share your dream code. <laughs> and hi, run rhinestone. <laughs> it's 420 somewhere. <laughs> uh, I was uh, making some jokes earlier. We were talking about build a bear, and I um, made a little comment about that with uh, with the Tom Nook, <laughs> the Tom Nook build a bear. Uh, Jeremy uh, stands the the Tom Nook build a bear though. <laughs> Gives off forest vibes. Oh, thank you so much. I'm glad you agree. Uh, let's uh, get rid of like all this extra terraforming here. Make it a bit more snug with the party tree. I like how you take your time to respond to every message. Oh, thank you, uh, Chinvon. Um, I think if my chat was always flying like a mile a minute, like. Um, I would have to adapt and uh, respond to chat a different way, but oftentimes, I mean, I feel like my chat is enough to where I should uh, respond to every message. All right, so we cut down on the cliff here. And I think another future stream we could do at some point. I want to fine tune uh, my party tree and fine tune these items more. Um, but. For today, I think we're going to play around with a Frodo reading under a tree build or, or something uh, of sorts over here. Which means I should probably fine tune this terraforming more as well. This is like all over the place. I don't even know what's going on here. Probably like fourth tier glitch shenanigans. Oh, you're good, Shinbon. I didn't see any paragraphs. Oh, thank you, Rhinestone. You're so sweet. <laughs> Trying to be more cottage core today. I'm not sure if you know already, but you can access this code or QR portal from your Nook phone now. Oh my gosh. Someone told me that and I forgot. Um, yeah, I think it was one of my mods, uh, Andrew, told me. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, let me do a little practice. So if you go over here to custom designs, and then if you hit X, yeah, you can access that anywhere. Oh my gosh, I feel so silly. Punk, thank you so much. Uh, you're so sweet. 
Thank you so much. Uh, I feel like we just met this stream and uh, you've been so kind. Thank you so much for the, the brand new sub. Welcome on into the Force fam. I hope you enjoy the Animal Crossing emotes that we have and continue to enjoy your time here. Um, and if you or anyone else would like to um, check out the Discord and um, get up to trading and the trading channels and chit chat and other things, um, feel free to join, but no pressure. You miss Andrew? Oh, I bet he's still around. He uh, um, told me he hasn't really been playing Animal Crossing lately, and he's also um, in a different time zone. He lives like in the UK, so it's like a lot later for him. Um, and I'm always starting my streams too late. <laughs> I'm such a bad streamer. Uh, thank you so much for the, the sweet hype and the warm welcome in chat. I really appreciate it. Thank you again, punk. Oh. Cute little uh, acorn badge. Need to double check my dream address, but once I get it, how would you like me to send it to you? Uh, you can just paste it in chat if you want, um, unless you want to keep it secret. But yeah, I don't mind just pasting it in chat to keep it simple, and uh, maybe some other folks in the community would like to visit it along. I usually display it on the screen, like as I'm visiting it. Yeah, I can't wait. I uh, can't wait to see your prancing pony and everything. And uh, let me just look at my Frodo picture again. Because <laughs> uh, Frodo at the beginning of uh, Fellowship of the Ring, like he's reading under some trees and I want to kind of pick up the vibes. Yeah, I feel like there's just like lots of trees everywhere, lots of weeds on the ground. Maybe this would be a good opportunity to use up some more, some more of the weeds that I have. And I guess I should also probably have a path that winds to the party tree. So, if y'all bear with me, I might want to like start laying a path and figuring out how I want to connect like all these paths together. You're practicing some acrylic painting right now, Doremi, and have stream up in the background. Ah, oh, that's really cool. Uh, good luck on your painting, uh, Doremi. I hope it goes better than my watercolor did. <laughs> I tried some watercolor once recently, and um, I'm still working on it, but it didn't really, you know, have my wildest dreams. Watercolor is so difficult. Is there somewhere online you buy your flower crowns? Um, this one I got from Etsy. It's uh, this place called, um, it's like the Spanish um, Etsy. If you want, I can probably like pull it up on the side while I'm dabbling with this. I think it's one of like my favorite shops. But yeah, this place is like really fancy. You can buy like all sorts of um, fantasy outfits. Like you can go all out and just uh, buy some fantasy capes, some like Elvis dresses. So uh, feel free to check out that link, I believe. And that's where I got this particular flower crown. playing Animal Crossing now and listening in. Oh, what, sh what are you up to? Are you uh, landscaping as well? Uh, I wonder what I should have over here. Because technically the way the path works is that you go on the bridge and then the path should probably like lead over to the party tree. I think I've decided that I want the path to be skinny around where I'm gonna have like the Frodo area. 
So um, you see how it gets like all skinny over here? Um, I think it's gonna be skinny wherever I end up doing the Frodo thing. So I should keep that in mind. And I'm gonna experiment now with uh, placing trees in different sorts of places. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> totally missed the hole. It was like, nope, not going in the hole. <laughs> Thanks, game. I gotta waste my pears now. Down to four measly pears. My blessed bywater pears that I'm not a big fan of. Do y'all have like a, a favorite and least favorite fruit? Do you like care about it when you reset for a new town or not? Or do you just kind of go with the flow? I'd probably care more if like we had perfect fruit still, but since we don't have perfect fruit anymore, I'm kind of like, hmm. if I can get away with not having another requirement on my list to reset for, I guess I will. <laughs> Don't have to worry about fruit anymore if I can just plant whatever I want and don't have to worry about perfect ones. <laughs> this Etsy, my wallet is quaking. I had a feeling like, um, I, that, that Etsy is really impressive. You can tell whoever like owns that Etsy, like that's their job. That is not a, a side hustle. Like I think that's their job is like owning that shop. It is something else. I was playing for a bit, but also now I'm on the verge of napping because I've been awake so long. Oh, how long have you been awake? I've been up a while myself. I've been up since uh, 4.30 in the morning or around like 3.50 in the morning. <laughs> I get ready at about like uh, 3.50 a.m. and then like I rush out the door and like drive really fast on the way to work. I'm the worst. I live really close to my job and I have to clock in at 4.30 a.m. on Saturdays. All right, let's, let's have a little picnic for Frodo here. Let's, <laughs> let's see if we can get this working. And uh, thank you for the follow. I'm still in the beginning and I'm waiting to get my museum built and my shop built. Oh, good luck in um, finalizing those. That is a cozy part of the game though, when you're still like unlocking things. Rhinestone, thank you. Oh, let's have a lot of hype and love in the chat for that's so generous, Rhinestone. Thank you so much for gifting five subs out into the community. Um, if you got caught with that sub bomb, I really hope you enjoy our emotes and the ad-free viewing and welcome on into the forest fam, courtesy of Rhinestone. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're so generous. And thanks for all the hype and love too. Oh, so much love. <laughs> Uh, go to the big screen temporarily and um, show some dusty love in response to that. Dusty thanks you too. <laughs> you see my little Jigglypuff um, and my Zuko? Quite a pairing on that bookshelf there, Jigglypuff next to Zuko. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. We've got some company here today. Yeah, thank you all so much for being here and uh, hanging out as I attempt this Frodo-inspired build. You love the peaches, Rhinestone? Let me guess why. <laughs> is it because is it they look like butts? No, I mean, they're also like really pink and cute. I think it's a little funny that everyone uh, always associates them with butts, to be honest. trying to visualize how I'm doing this here. Should I move it one down? Is that like too close to this tree? Yeah, I think it could work. So let's leave it here for now and do a vibe check later. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying that uh, cozy beginning of the game, punk. In older games I cared, but in New Horizons I don't care about fruit, but I do love apples. 
Yeah, I feel the same way. I especially love the um, the perfect apples, so I figure if I don't have to worry about perfect fruit anymore, why bother? But otherwise, I'd probably shoot for uh, perfect apples. Do y'all uh, think the perfect fruit will ever come back? Or do you think that that's one of those things that's forever in the past at this point? Ooh, I'm getting a vision for this area. Picture this. Green mums, yellow mums, white mums, weeds, a book under the tree. I think it could work leading into the party tree. I need some cypress plants, though. <laughs> I don't have enough cypress plants in these pockets. You're kind of nervous, Jules. She signed up to volunteer at a local library just as a way of getting out more because I'm still working from home and feel like I'm losing all my social skills. So I'm starting that tomorrow. Hopefully it's a cozy time. Oh, that does sound very cozy and a really go a good volunteering experience. Um, that's really cool of you to do to help out in your community. And um, you're right, it, it's both a great way to get out more it'll probably give you like lots of serotonin to get out of the house and feel like you're you know doing good and um i'm sure you'll like meet some new people and get to um undust those social skills i'm happy for you jules <laughs> ruckazoid are you still on that etsy how many cloaks is too many cloaks yeah, those are, those are expensive though. Did you know I actually did splurge on one of those dresses and I actually kind of envisioned it as a possible wedding dress. Like if I wanna be kind of cheap and not really buy a new wedding dress. Anyway, I bought kind of like an Elvish dress from that place and uh, I figure, hey, I could wear that uh, on, my, <laughs> on my wedding day if I need to, if, if I ever get married. I'm trying to customize this book and it is not working. I'm sure y'all feel that. You can't really customize as many items as we used to. Now let me just see what books I have. And I see Maddie uh, shared their dream address. Maddie has a Lord of the Rings themed island around Bree Village and I just couldn't resist asking for the dream code. Uh, I hope you all, you all will enjoy going on that dream tour with me. Oh no, I don't have a green book. Never mind. I was trying to get a green book. <laughs> Do y'all know if that's a thing? Oh, I love you so much too, Rhinestone, and I love all of you. Thank you all so much for being here. And I see Ruckazoid redeemed a, a cat treat for Miss Dusty back there. Um, so if you'll indulge me before we go on that dream tour, uh, we'll switch back and uh, say hi to Dusty. I'm sure she'll be hyped for the treats. Uh, let's get the, the full reaction here. <laughs> so I'm going to switch over to Dusty and then I'm going to start like messing with the bag and let's see how much she reacts to it. <laughs> she did react to it right away pretty much. She was like, I'm awake now. I heard the tree bag. Let's let's get a better angle. <laughs> hey, sweetie. <laughs> Look at you, sweet girl. Want some treats? I think I might have a few more, um, but it is good to just give her like a few because <laughs> she actually doesn't doesn't really need uh, more weight on it. But we gave her a few enough to, you know, don those taste buds, give her something to munch on. <laughs> I think she enjoyed them, licking those chops. Uh, thank you, Rekazoid, for treating Dusty. 
And hi, Sarge, you're designing your campsite and your two kitties are both snuggled up to you. Oh, that's the best. I love like having a cat on my lap and um, playing Animal Crossing. Whenever that happens, like I usually take a picture just to be like the vibes. And then I get tempted to post it on Animal Crossing or on my uh, Instagram. <laughs> Feel called out about your love for, for peaches, the butt fruit. <laughs> Dusty's like, well, now I'm awake. I wouldn't mind a few more treats, but <laughs> there she is. Uh, thank you again for the treats. And uh, let's switch over to this overlay and maybe go on like a little dream tour break before we get back to our Frodo under the tree build. All right, so this is by Maddie Bury. I am guessing that maybe your character is named Maddie and your island is called Brie. Oh my gosh, y'all, I have like no pants on right now. <laughs> what is going on right now? What happened? <laughs> Does anyone know where my pants went? <laughs> ah, like I, I, I feel like I've been doing this for like the past 30 minutes. It happened when uh, Miss Bettina gave me this concierge uniform. <laughs> and I just never put my pants back on. Oh man, that's funny. Alright, well I can't go to uh, Bree Village pantsless. <laughs> and I also can't go to Bree Village with this terraforming hat on. Your cat is keeping you company too, Masella. Aww. When I came home from work, Pumpkin, my, my orange kitty Pumpkin, she was like snoring and twitching. Uh, don't you love when they do that? I mean, I think dogs do that too, and pets in general, you can kind of see them when they're sleeping and twitching. Oh, and hi, Kate Rosie. What kind of island theme are you going for? Oh, my island is uh, Shire themed, like from the Lord of the Rings where the hobbits live. And um, that's kind of why the room that I was just in like has the round windows. Just think like the English countryside and rolling green, green hills and stuff like that. Uh, how about you? What's your island like? Original Wild World Town was cherries, so they're your favorites. All love a sentimental town fruit. I'm all about just like, how good do they look on the trees? What is the season that I want to do my dream town in? Because certain fruits kind of suit different themes. Like if you have an autumn town, I feel like apples work really well. If you have like a spring town, maybe peaches because they're pink. Stuff like that. Alright, so here's the dream code. We're going to go on like a little tour here. updating my uh, log graphic at the bottom so that y'all can visit along with me if you want. And hi Hawaii Sunset! Welcome in, I'm sure you can decorate punk. Serotonin, who is she? <laughs> Etsy? Etsy is like a, a site where um, Folks can like sell their own crafts and whatnot. There's like a, a link to what we're talking about, punk. <laughs> Sorry for uh, not having the context there. Oh my gosh, Rhinestone, thank you for the green book. That'll be perfect, I think, to have a green book down there in that area. I found an Etsy that had medieval dresses and considered one for my wedding dress, but went with something different when I started trying them on. Oh, that's cool that we both had like a similar thought of uh, medieval dresses for our wedding gowns. Uh, when I daydream about it in my head, like I want it to be almost Lord, Lord of the Rings themed and I want to be like Arwen. <laughs> um, I really like the the Arwen dresses a lot. Oh, here we are in Bree Village. I feel like it's already giving off those Bree Village vibes and I feel like something I find so fascinating is the way like half of it is closed off and then half of it is open. I feel like that's like a really interesting like composition for a town hall, which I like a lot. <laughs> so 
such a cute kitty. Oh, thank you all for the cat's love. My pants are on the beach, SARS. <laughs> maybe, maybe a different pair of pants is on the beach. At least I found some. My dog is sleeping in front of me and I'm resting my laptop on her. Uh, does your dog appreciate that, Jules? Or um, is the laptop keeping your dog nice and toasty? Um, I've had a lot of cats that like to sit on laptops over the years or just sit on electronics in general, like DVD players and stuff. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to explore. This is basically like the Shire, y'all. This is basically like my island, just in sort of made by a different person and, you know, with different areas and different visions. But this is very, very similar to my theme. So this will be really cool to see. Like right right here, this is the um, the Prancing Pony Inn, which is like a, a tavern that the hobbits stay at. So think like medieval tavern with the roaring fire and the common tables and um, it's so well done. It's got the doorway where you literally like walk in and see all that. And it's an interesting way to have like a sort of indoor building outside because um, I also kind of like to do that sometimes. Especially because I don't like having extra characters and having all my villagers like talk about the extra characters all the time. I'm not really a fan of that dialogue of them just blabbering on about my extra characters, so. And I wonder what this is. Just a cozy little forest dinner scene with, uh, with teddy bears and wildflowers and it's just so adorable and whimsical and cozy. I love that island flag. Me too. That was like a really good pixel art of a rose. Are you touring viewers stream addresses? Um, it is like a channel points redemption. Okay. It's like um, a thousand acorns, which um, isn't all that much, but I'll definitely tour like um, developed islands like these from the community. And uh, I even have a Google form if anyone uh, wants to fill out the Google form to maybe even um, tour it for YouTube or whatever. Oh, look at these home yards. They're so well designed. This one is a really interesting blue color near the waterfall. Oh, there's two. There's like two homes right here. So you're really establishing those village vibes by having the homes lined up. Uh, that took me by surprise, but I should probably look at the map so that I'm not surprised about, about such things. So this is the map layout and the villagers. Looks like you got a nice mixture of like woodsy villagers and like lots of dogs and oh my gosh, you have Boomer too. <laughs> what do you think of Boomer? I get such a kick out of him in my island. Uh, maybe we should take a little break and see what your interiors are like since the outside is so lovely. Let's see what your interior design like is like. Love that green couch. Oh, I wonder which one you were talking about. Ooh, this is interesting. Look at that moon rug and... Oh, is this the green couch? <laughs> is, it, is it this one? I'll have to check Etsy out. Yeah, what I recommend Etsy for is if you need like a really nice uh, personalized gift for someone. Because uh, sometimes what you can find at stores... I don't know, maybe... Etsy would have something that hits a little different and is even more personalized. Like if you have a like a family member that really likes a certain game, uh, there's a lot of great like Animal Crossing merch on Etsy even. I also refuse a second character because the villager dialogues. Yeah, it's a problem. In general, like, I like the New Horizons dialogue, or at least, like, I've come to like it. I, I think it can be pretty fun and quirky sometimes, and I've laughed many a time at the dialogue in this game, but uh, there's a few things that are fatal flaws with it. One is that the if you have extra villagers on your town, like, they will talk about those villagers, like, all the time. And two, with special events, like if there's a fishing tourney coming up, they will not shut up about that either. Are y'all seeing this painting? Uh, this is such a good little pixel art right here. 
I love that, like a cottage with a flower field in front. And this room here reminds me kind of like a workroom or like a kiln to make pottery and other sorts of goods. Very creative the way, like this is pottery. There's some pottery like on this shelf. Uh, you really like made the most out of this um, creative pottery sort of room here and it's really unique too. I haven't seen a room quite like that. Yeah, we stand boomer on this channel. Love how those houses are lined up. Me too, it makes it seem like a street on a village or something. Oh, your dog loves the laptop warmth. I get a kick out of that from my own pets too, like my kitties and stuff. It feels like they never get tired of like getting heat and sitting on blankets and stuff. And meanwhile, I'm like, you're covered in fur and it's summertime. Like, aren't you so hot right now? <laughs> But I feel like cats just always love being toasty. And uh, speaking of toasty, look at all the steam billowing from the ovens in here. This is an immaculate kitchen. The vibes are to die for. Totally have a cozy dinner in there. Oh, great. Thank you so much for uh, being here and stopping by, and I hope to see you in the future, too. Have a great rest of your Saturday and weekend. Um, I might even uh, stream tomorrow, uh, depending on how I'm feeling and how the weekend goes. But anyway, this uh, upstairs is super whimsical. I love how it's kind of tucked away in a forest, but has a lot of the same browns and cottagecore items from the rest of the house. How can I visit your island? Oh, are you um, referring to the island that I'm visiting right now? Do you have the dream suite yet, punk? Because if you're like early on in um, your island, you might not have the dream suite yet. But uh, basically, once you have the dream suite, you can like lay down in your bed and choose to dream, and then you enter that dream address, and it allows you to visit like other islands like this without actually visiting it, which is really nice because it doesn't do any harm to the island. Like even if I plucked these hyacinths or whatever, it like wouldn't affect the actual island. It's just like a saved dream version of it. That was one of the coolest things they ever added to New Leaf. Um, New Leaf was such a like groundbreaking game. Oh, I see this room is like a little less developed. Do you want me to explore this house or is this house like, uh, like a work in progress? Yeah, that wallpaper, um, that's called the forest wall and I think you get it like with the fall DIYs, like in the autumn time. Speaking of which, it's almost at the two hour mark, so I think at the two hour mark we'll do our second giveaway. Part of the reason why um, the giveaway came to mind when it did is that the, the second giveaway is going to be for like hard to get materials like um, acorns and pine cones and like some star fragments, like basically anything with crafting that's like kind of annoying to get. Oh, this is like your own little secret beach over here. Like, forget Crazy Red secret beach with your peninsula and this terraforming that you did and the way you have to approach it from this one angle. It's like you created your own secret beach over here to star stargaze and look out over the ocean. Oh, I love your island so much. That's even like a small peninsula too. You didn't even have like the really big one and you still got such great use out of it. Oh, and this little heart patch of dirt. That house is a work in progress. Yeah, that's totally fine. It's fine for the island to still be a work in progress. Oh, there's a koala. What's that koala's name? I forget. I want to say Ozzy, but I know Ozzy's the one with like the sunglasses. 
So there's kind of another... I was about to say another pottery-inspired area, but maybe this is more of like... Just a seaside retreat. Um, I'm having trouble category categorizing it actually, like exactly what it is, but whatever it is, I love it. Super cozy. Over here by the Abel's shop, which has its own uh, walk-in area here with the doors. Love the aesthetic of the dream suite in this game. Yeah, me too. Um, the dream suite in previous Animal Crossing had like a really nice building on Main Street. But I like how in this game you can access it just by laying in your bed and that like dreamy like purpley sky and that view that you get when you lay down. It's so lovely. Oh wow, it's been so long since I've seen the like spooky version of Nook's Cranny. Kind of took me out of um, Bree for a bit and I was like, whoa, what are those uh, spider webs doing in the window? So up here, it kind of feels like another like crafting area. Maybe the villagers have to craft and make goods for a living. Like Nate here, and I love his yard with the well. Oh, thank you for the lurk rhinestone. I'm obsessed with this island. Love the secret beach. I know, I love it too. I'm so glad I came here. I got my Switch in game in January, so I haven't experienced fall yet. Oh, I hope you enjoy it. That's kind of exciting to me that you have like so much of the game left to enjoy. Like, uh, for those of us that got the game like around release, we've been through pretty much all the seasons at this point, but you've still got fall and winter to go and whatever updates they might have in store. What do you all think for... Um, like E3 and Animal Crossing and what it might mean for updates. Do you have your money on anything in particular as far as a prediction for E3? Wow, I love this spot up here. Uh, let me guess, this is Molly's house, Queen Molly. The duck has to have her own little hyper-realistic duck to compare herself to and <laughs> just the most adorable yard. I love it here. I love this like pattern work that you did too. You've got your own little cozy blanket by the waterfall. Uh, there's something really lovely about this time of day too. Like it's not the time of day where everything's like golden and hyper warm and like super sunsetty, but kind of feels like the the late afternoon when um the sun's getting like a little lower in the sky, but the sky's still blue. Looks like, looks like I stumbled across a vineyard uh, with all the like wine fields and, and violets. Who owns the vineyard? Ah, Ozzy does. Was I right? Was that Ozzy over there? Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> I just want to wander around here for a bit. And I think I, I missed the rock garden. Oh, look at this perfect rock garden with the Jacob's Ladder, like, right in the middle. Uh, let me ask you, was that, like, your first Jacob's Ladder? Does it have special significance? Was that the one that you got when you, like, got a perfect town for the first time, or...? Oh, and hi, David! I'm doing pretty well today. Happy that it's the weekend, and looking forward to unwinding, and... Uh, right now we're touring like a really beautiful island that I'm blown away by. How about you, David? How are you doing? How's your Saturday? I have no idea what to expect from E3. Yeah, I was hoping you all might have some ideas since um, I'm not always the best guesser, but I would guess if I had to guess something that maybe they'll finally like reveal Brewster or something. <laughs> it just kind of seems like something that would be like the most hype be like, oh, finally, what you all have been waiting for. Brewster's back. Um, he seems to be, like, the number one most requested, like, NPC in building. 
I love this waterfall with the bridge, the sunken waterfall. That's amazing. That's total like terraforming goals right here. Oh, and I just noticed that this is like the, the posts for the end of the bridge. Oh, I love it. And the little Tanuki figurine over by the library. I would love to have Brewsters, but I'd settle for quality of life updates and some plants. <laughs> I almost read that as pants because of our conversation earlier about uh, me losing my pants. <laughs> I'd kill for some quality of life updates and some pants. Yeah, what sort of uh, quality of life updates are you most hoping for, Jess? Oh, that was your first Jacob's Ladder back there? Oh, that's so special. I love that area even more now that you honored something so sentimental and that it came out so pretty right there. Uh, your museum's also really uh, cool looking the way it's got like all this um stuff to study outside like the mammoth and the the ocean sunfish i love the incline down to it too in this perspective that's really interesting to look at this island is so peaceful i agree this is such a cool viewpoint as well seeing the museum on one side and those waterfalls on the other and you almost made this bench look like a bed. <laughs> Maybe not the most comfortable bed in the world, but certainly very aesthetic. You can have like a little lie down after visiting the museum and walking around the island. Oh, and I recognize Boomer's house. Boomer's house is very familiar to me because I have him in my own island. Um, he looks so charming on yours with like all the... Um, orange farms and all the like warm colored plants and just like a nice slice of autumn over here all oh, the wildflowers the campsite the spot to go and uh, lay down and admire the ocean in the distance everything's just perfect Uh, how long have you had your island, Maddie? Is this like your OG day one island? Have you been working on it like practically over a whole year? Or is this like a more modern project? It looks like a lot of like thought and love and time has gone into it. And I'm obsessed with your color coordination for one thing. You have such a great eye for like pairing all the different flowers and pathing together and the time of year. Everything meshes together so perfectly. And you have not one, but two land bridges on your island. And this one has like uh, some really interesting views too. And that's what leads you over to the campsite. Walking through a mushroom forest here. Oh, look, look at that pan up view. And the spot to like sit out by the ocean. You're all about like your ocean scenic spots. Ah, uh, you're trying to decorate your island, David. Oh, what sort of theme are you going for? Oh my gosh, the ladder! Kind of wish I could uh, pick it up, but it's an aesthetic ladder. I'm not a good guesser and I'd like to be surprised. Yeah, I was watching a stream before this that was all about predictions and it was kind of blowing my mind. Um, it was a it was a Tiggity stream and uh, he was like, I think there's gonna be a new franchise announced, which I didn't even think of that. Uh, like there was one point in the past uh, several years where they announced Splatoon for the very first time. I guess they could always do something like that. Like, oh, here's a brand new franchise. Oh my god, I love this house. It's so pink and still so cottage core and woodsy. And you can like look down on a dainty scene with a statue too. Everything about this is so lovely. Who gets to live in this blessed spot with the heart pond? Who, who gets this house? Ah, Tutu. That is amazing. 
I've only ever had this island and it's my baby. Oh, you should be so proud of it. You did such a great job. Uh, thank you for letting me check it out. And thank you for telling me that it was like Brie inspired. Is there any reason why in particular like Brie? Like did uh, Brie Village kind of speak to you with uh, the end of the Prancing Pony and just imagining like the rustic coziness of it all? I'd love to be able to craft and buy in bulk in a quicker way to island hunt. I'm not holding my breath. <laughs> yeah. What gets me even more than bulk crafting is actually like buying stuff like the customization kits. Like you said, like the customization kits, you can only buy them in stacks of five and like that is not bulk, especially when some items cost about five or so just to craft one or customize one thing and uh here's the map dilly i can tell uh this is the sort of island that i think is meant to be appreciated as you walk around uh like it's not a map that's supposed to be super fancy but it's still really cool to like look at how the island is structured yeah, there's kind of two camps to some extent. Some people care a lot about like how their map looks and they almost like try to create a certain map with terraforming and then they go through and de decorate it all. But I think me and Maddie are in the same camp where we just kind of go based off of how things feel when you're walking around the island and our map might look like really interesting as a result. Oh, I like this farmer's market here. Little greenery market. Your beach decorating is so precious and still main maintains those uh, cottage core vibes. Uh, I remember someone earlier, was it Recozoid? I don't know. Someone earlier mentioned that they had like cottage core vibes on their island so that they didn't like to decorate their beaches. But this is one way you can try to decorate them with cottage core is just uh, put up lots of these sorts of woodsy items and have like a little wooden path along the, the beach. Oh, I just love everything and all the little details. Hi, Hammy. I hope your weekend's been well, too. How have you been? Uh, thank you so much for dropping by and welcome into this little island tour. I hope you enjoy the, the tail end of it. We might have explored a fair chunk of it at this point, but there's probably bits and pieces I haven't seen yet. Um, Anything big that I haven't seen yet, Maddie? Anything that I might have missed in my first walk around? This kind of feels like another little campsite down here, a less official campsite. Oh, you're so good. You're so good at like beach decorating. You're really good at furniture placement too. I think I love the cozy feel of Brie, maybe because it's always raining, and I remember I love visiting it in the Lego games. Oh, cool. Yeah, with my own like little forced perspective Brie village that I showed you, there was one time I saw it when it was pouring down rain, and it was like especially magical and very fitting for, for Brie village. Oh my god, I love this house. Mac has such a good house with that like dark wood and the, the yellow roof and everything. It's perfect for this island. Uh, did you pick your villagers partly based off of house exterior because they all like match immaculately? Oh, and this was like Tutu's lookout point. I can tell you might have designed a little bit of that with like Tutu in mind because it looked so... Um, I don't know, uh, feminine and airy compared to some of the other areas on the map. I made a tiny little wedding area on mine with all the wedding stuff that's out right now. Ah, oh, the wedding items are so fun. I love that like nuptial bell. Uh, that's one of the best new items in my opinion. Oh, look at the pumpkin farm. It was really cool of you to mix both like the big pumpkins and the itty bitty pumpkins and uh, You did such a nice job with the pathway through the orchard and through the pumpkin um, the pumpkin farm 
So there's a main town area on the bottom right corner. How did I miss the main town? <laughs> but yeah, it's always good to ask because I feel like in my first walk around I tend to miss a few things. Oh, there's Tutu. Uh, do y'all like Tutu? I feel like uh, she has such a almost toy-like face. Like she, she totally looks like a little white toy plushy bear. So we're approaching the bottom right, and you said that this is like the main part of town. It's got some railroad tracks and some beachside cafes. I wonder what this sign is. It's in Japanese. And uh, fittingly for it being the main town area, there's a few villagers wandering around like Mac and Deirdre. Checking out the, um, the library. So here's your Abel's and how it connects with kind of like a canal section. Holy cow! You have like a whole canal on your island and I missed it in my first walk around. I think I know what I did though. I think I know how I missed this the first time. I was like walking along the beach. <laughs> I got so tied to like your beach decorating that I forgot to check out these roads. Ah, uh, this is so cool. I actually have never been to a canal city of via, via Dream Address. Um, it's so satisfying after seeing some of these like canals on Instagram and Animal Crossing social media. It's so nice to actually be able to walk around in one and it's really impressive to, to walk around in too. I wonder what all these like little inclines are. It's like sort of uh, villagers that live on the side of the, the canals. And they can like look out over uh, the canal scene down below. Oh, this is so cool. Getting major fall vibes from this island and I love it. Yeah. Fall has so many different colors to it. Um, Blackburn or Kethry. You're gonna really love it when you get to experience autumn for the first time. I know, Pearls, this uh, canal is to die for. Must be just really lovely to play in your island every day and do your dailies and stuff. Um, and I hope to feel that what I hope to feel that way about um, my own island one day, to just completely finish it like this and be able to just like walk around in my little shire paradise. But I mean, technically I'm putting words in your mouth. Your, your island is not 100% finished, you said, but it looks pretty darn finished. It's pretty close. It's getting there. Oh, I'm glad you all liked it. Now I want to be in fall. Well, if you really, really wanted to, you could time travel. But I recommend, since you uh, just got the game in February, I recommend, like, playing it in real time and seeing those months pass. Oh, no, I want to go in there. Because <laughs> then it'll be more satisfying when it actually comes and you'll get to experience all that, like, summer has to offer. I wanted to see this little section of the canal city that's like a lookout point from that villager home. Very nicely done. That canal is insane. I agree, it's so well done. I mean, practically like everything is. It's a really creative island. I, I could gush about it and wander around forever, but have I pretty much explored everything at this point? Uh, did I get to everything? Oh no, I missed the ladder! <laughs> That's just like me to go the, the totally wrong direction to get the ladder. So this right here, I can tell this is probably leading to the entrance. Like this is where the airport's going to be probably if I walk down. Oh, okay. I guess your airport's pretty far away from your town hall. 
Where is your airport? You almost did a good job of hiding it. I had kind of almost a hard time finding your airport, which is probably ideal for an island like Bree, which is so old and, and so vintage and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> uh, that was really clever the way that you tucked it back there in a way that like, I probably wouldn't have found it unless I specifically looked for it. I never noticed the hedge leaves change color. Yeah, they change color to like a warmer tone in autumn. I've actually seen some people like that and some people don't. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you for letting me explore. Uh, the dream code is still pasted on the stream on the stream there, like on that log. If anyone wants to write down that graphic before I uh, overwrite it. Uh, congratulations on such a amazing Brie themed island, Maddie. You, did, you killed it. Oh, Rhinestone, did you see the canal part? Um, I remember you talking about how you had like a canal city, Rhinestone, so I thought of you when I saw the, the canal. This is the first time I've ever woken up in a, from a dream address, like in my actual, like, finished bedroom. So satisfying to wake up in a, in a finished bedroom. I'm back from my trip to Breeland. I rode home on a pony and uh, now I'm back in the Shire. <laughs> Took a little vacation to Bree. Had some drinks at the, at the Prancing Pony. I've time traveled a bit to try and find nursery items, but nothing more than a week or two. Oh uh, yeah, that's valid. Um, I got into time traveling a few months in too because um, I wanted to just start like paying off bridges and decorating and uh, the whole like having to wait a whole day to like unlock a bridge. It's too annoying you know if you're decorating an area you want to keep going you don't want to have to wait a whole day to <laughs> to wait for a bridge to be built and thank you for the love and the hype for that uh, amazing island thank you for sharing that with us oh and thank you chinbon i'm glad you like the the room that we did the last stream Here's how the party tree looks from up above, and it looks like the sunset has deepened a little. Isn't that such a dreamy sky right there? And we got Bilbo smoking pipe weed. It's probably easy to miss him, but yeah, that's my little illusion Bilbo over there with the hat of hair. Alright, well, back to our Frodo build, and I guess I'll edit that graphic at the bottom that still has Bree's town on it. <laughs> I'm just gonna call this a book reading meadow. So I'm going to put a little book on the blanket and stuff, so. Oh, and I forgot to check my mail. I wonder if a uh, rhinestone sent me that, like, green book. Maybe I should go and check my mail real quick. Ah, uh, let's just go the shortcut with my ladder. Oh, it's getting late over in the UK. Ah, uh, that's super understandable, Brie. Uh, thank you so much for letting me tour your island and have a great night. Glad we got to meet each other and that I got to experience that. I feel like I gotta find more like Lord of the Rings islands out there in the community. Like, I'm sure they exist. I need to find all of them. Ah, uh, thank you so much. Thanks for sending that to me, Rhinestone. Let's go and try out the green book over there. Do I have a pipe in my pockets? I do, so that'll be handy to not have to use my ladder again next time. Can warp back to my house. <laughs> you like my little Bilbo? Nice uh, close-up action of, of little Bilbo. Living his best life. <laughs> Can probably hardly see over that fence. Oh, 
thank you, Maddie. I can't wait to finish it, honestly. So close, but so far at the same time. Oh, guess what? We will have to use our pipe very shortly because uh, I remember the whole reason why I actually went back to my house was to go and get cypress plants, but then I got sidetracked by uh, visiting that amazing island, so I'll have to go back there to get my cypress plants. Uh, do y'all have any other ideas besides, like, plants that could go here? Like, should I just go wild with flowers and weeds, or should I decorate with any furniture items? How do you send people stuff? Um, we do have a friend code section in uh, the Discord. Um, Kethry, so you can always uh, send me a friend request if you want, um, and uh, then you just have to Wi-Fi with the person, and then you can send each other mail. Maybe I could send you some nursery items. All right, cypress plants. Don't forget this time. Ah, <laughs> uh, something I just realized is um, the same pattern that I use for the blanket. I could probably use for um, customizing cushions and stuff too. I don't know if I want to go all out like putting cushions down there though, because it is kind of a foresty area. Uh, but maybe some green leaf piles might be cute. Uh, I really like the brown cypress plants. Um, I'm gonna see if I have any like laying around town because unfortunately I don't really have a lot right now. <laughs> he doesn't need to see over the fence. He's vibing. He is. He's slumped in that chair smoking his pipe weed. <laughs> Is cake cannon or the cheese? Oh, so you think that in addition to the book, I should also make it like a little picnic? Ah, that's a good idea. I didn't really think of that. I'm just thinking of that scene where like Frodo wakes up at the beginning of Fellowship with like his book to go and see Gandalf. Ooh, look at uh, Kiki after this bug. <laughs> Look at her go. She's gonna whack a pansetti in the process. I want to see this. Oh, she had second thoughts. She was like, ooh, getting too close to pansetti. I wonder if I can just steal a few other, like, brown cypress plants from around my town. Put them back later. So glad the visual punk wig worked out for Bilbo. Yes, that's our emo wig. <laughs> oh, here's my brown cypress plants. Like, Murphy's like staring at them over here. <laughs> I was wondering where these were. I must have used them when I was like working on the farm area. So I was kind of thinking that like here and there, maybe I could tuck uh, cypress plants in between the farm. Yeah, I like how it came out. Um, especially when my paths are done, I think the farm area is gonna be super cute. <laughs> my friend and I have just been leaving stuff on each other's islands. Oh, that's precious. At least, uh, you, you're a little bit more social that way. Ooh, more brown cypress plants. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> How full are my pockets, though? Yeah, I'll leave those there. Oh yeah, there is that item limit, though. You can only send, uh, two items a day, technically. Should we go and visit Maggie, see what Maggie's up to? Yeah, hobbits do love their food. Um, I was actually looking forward to using that cheese item somewhere. You know that uh, new cheese item they added for cheese rolling day? 
Uh, I was thinking of putting one in my kitchen. Uh, don't mind me, I'll probably be happy to avoid getting another DIY recipe. <laughs> Yeah, the two ways that you can uh, send letters, probably the easiest and my favorite, is to go in the catalog and um, you can just uh, search for something. And then there's the option to like send it as a friend, send it to a friend. So uh, these, I guess, are the people that I've met up with on the Switch, not a super long list. But through the airport's another way, and it works for everything that's not a catalog item. Oh, I love this sunset. The sunset is so lovely. And meanwhile, like outside, it's like this picturesque scene out in the Shire here, but like outside my own door, um, I feel like I might be getting ready to storm or something. It's looking very, like, bustly out there right now. I'm trying to think because if this path winds behind the blanket, it might look kind of awkward, actually. Or maybe not. Maybe I want the path to kind of, like, hug the trees a little. And have the blanket be, like, a little farther away. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. And then maybe I can plant some trees up here and the trees can kind of help shade the blanket. Because uh, something really interesting to do with landscaping actually is to pay attention to both your foreground and your background. Like I did that over with Maggie's area a little where like um, with the cliffs, if you plant a bunch of flowers along them, it's so pretty to like see them along the cliff. Why did my music stop? <laughs> Is it just me? Uh, what happened? Okay, it's still going. Just took it a second. It's a time to use the complex path of calculus here. Ah, Lemons! You redeemed a video game song request. Uh, which, uh, which song did you have in mind? And uh, hi, Morgan. Thank you so much for that uh, follow earlier. How are you today? How's your Saturday and weekend going? Are any of you doing anything fun for the weekend? Or just keeping up with like lots of E3 news and stuff? I'm kind of feeling motivated. I might like go on a walk later or something, as long as it's not raining. <laughs> it looks like it might rain out there. Yay, so far so good as far as my complicated path. Yeah, so let's have it like kind of hug the trees and head over to the party tree like this. Yeah. And I feel pretty at peace when it comes to buy water. Um, if there's anything that like doesn't age well over time, if there's anything that I want to change later, I'm totally game to doing that. Buy water doesn't have to be like set in stone forever. Your voice is so sweet. Oh, thank you, Morgan. So happy to have you here. So can we listen to the opening song from Diamond and Pearl? Ooh, a fellow Diamond and Pearl fan. I'm kind of hyped about those sequels that are going to be coming out. Or I guess not sequels, but like remakes of the game. I wonder if there's going to be more info on those at E3. So Diamond and Pearl opening song. Or Route 209. Or both. <laughs> yeah, let's listen to both of those. Oh, I love Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. It brings back 
memories of playing Platinum when I was a kid, and it was always the region that kind of hit closest to home for me and felt the most special and big and magical and like I had those snowy mountains and flow aroma town and had such a great soundtrack. So now with my complex path I'm going to try to merge this um, single space wide path into something that's wider. Here we go. I got to visit the zoo today with my niece and nephew. Oh, that sounds really cozy, him. Uh, the zoo is such a great place to go with like uh, young kids. Um, it's a great way to like keep them uh, entertained and occupied and. Like my brother and uh, his wife, they have like three kids and they're all really, really close in age. Um, like they have twins and then the other kid is really close in age to the twins. So they're all like uh, really, really close in age, which made for a hectic house at times. And sometimes if they just didn't know what else to do to calm them down, they would just get them out of the house, take them to the zoo. All right, so this is our winding pathway so far. Uh, I hope it looks a lot better once the path's already done. You're gonna have to like visualize with me that this path will be done and look pretty one day. And now I'm gonna go and get some flowers off the beach. Although my pockets are probably full. Shoot. <laughs> I blame Bettina for giving me this concierge uniform. That's like the, the source of all my problems. <laughs> it's not like I'm carrying around a million cypress plants or anything. Alright, well, I'll drop some of these over here so that I can go and get some flowers. Which one is my green book? I'll keep the green book and then get rid of everything else. Is this my green book? What's E3? Uh, E3 is uh, a news conference related to video games. So it's pretty hype. It's every year at June and pretty much all the major gaming companies like uh, Sony and PlayStation and Ubisoft and, and all the big players, Nintendo included, they have like a um, a display, a uh, presentation, whatever you want to call it, about like the games that are going to be coming out in the not too distant future. So with Nintendo, it's expected they might show some on like Breath of the Wild 2. Uh, they might have something to share about like an Animal Crossing update for us, so that's why there's some hype in the Animal Crossing fandom and expectations of like what could they add? Could we get Brewster? <laughs> I love island minigames too. I have a teensy favor to ask. My workout top. Be a deer and take it off my hands. Take my sweaty, dirty laundry. <laughs> you go deal with it. Thanks, Pansetti. If for some reason you can't use it, just get rid of it or whatever. I'm just ready to be done with it. <laughs> She is so great. Oh my gosh, this is quite the look here. It's like a sports bra or something. <laughs> this is so funny. I didn't know about this item. I actually kind of dig it. Maybe not with my pants, but <laughs> I've like never seen this at the Evil Sisters in my lifetime. I totally want to like don some shades, put on some workout shorts, and like run around like a like a suburban mom doing her jog in the morning. 
Something about that, like, neon, like, edge of the sports bra, like, brought that to mind. Alright, what was I doing? Uh, I guess we're gonna go to Nooks and try to offset that workout top and other things. And in fact, we don't even have to go to Nooks. <laughs> we can just do this. The epitome of laziness, not wanting to do that, like, store loading screen. Just kind of wanting to bypass that. And then have to deal with that in the morning when, when you get that call from Timmy and Tommy. It's basically just a uh, putting off the pain into the future. Uh, oh yes, the concierge uniform. Do your villagers do stuff like that too? I assume so. Like they're probably are, are always giving clothing that you don't want to you all as well. All right, I don't really see myself using those flowers. They're too bright. Uh, so let's go down to the beach. Pick out some better ones. Big rumors about a new Donkey Kong game. Oh, really? That would be really exciting. Um, I feel like I haven't heard a whole lot about Donkey Kong in a hot minute, but I have been enjoying like listening to Donkey Kong music. Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong music kind of slaps. Uh, speaking of which, speaking of music, <laughs> I think we've been on an autoplay adventure. So let's play Route 209 because uh, Lemons kind of suggested that and I know this is a classic from uh, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. And uh, hi Stream Dad! <laughs> And hi, KK Slider, welcome in. Can I sell anything else? I, I think I wanted to sell my book. Yeah, because it's the wrong color. Yeah, I love the Nook shopping app. I highly recommend, like, just suck it up and order your your five items a day or whatever and get that shopping app it's totally worth it i watched the conjuring movies today and now i'm in bed getting ready to sleep in three hours oh what are the conjuring movies uh that sounds like a cozy day though no <laughs> Dusty. I'm gonna see what Dusty's up to. Oh, she's uh, faced away from the channel or faced away from the stream. Just like a little floofy blob back there. No. Oh. Donkey Kong music. Yeah, maybe we'll have to hunt down one of those after this. Love the whole Pokemon Diamond and Pearl soundtrack. Yeah, me too. I think it's the best one from the Animal Crossing series, but I might be biased. There's just something special about it though. They're horror movies? Oh, okay. Well, that's probably why I didn't know. I don't really watch a whole lot of horror movies. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I guess I don't watch a whole lot of movies in general. Um, I'm more of like a Netflix show type of person. The thing about movies is that they require like a two hour, two or three hour block of time, whereas TV shows are tend to be shorter and also TV shows tend to last longer so they have like longer and more dramatic arcs in a lot of cases. So I think TV shows are kind of my favorite format of like watching things. Like when I uh, write down things to watch, I tend to like write down a lot of Netflix shows and stuff. Dang, I went on like a little hunt for yellow mums and I didn't find any. That's so tragic. Where did all my yellow mums go? <laughs> uh, I guess I'll um, 
check the other beach or maybe just steal some of my other yellow mums from around town for now. I want to be able to decorate today. What are your favorite TV shows? Um, my favorite TV show of all time is Dark. You might have heard me talk about it. There's something about that show in particular that's almost like I haven't gotten over it or whatever. Like, um, even though I watched it months ago, like it hasn't left me as far as my obsession with it. I'm just continuously in awe of its execution and its storyline. I found myself posting on some like dark forums on Reddit <laughs> the other day. Like I got really into that show, but let me think about others that I like. I mean, of course, like when you talk about Netflix and, and shows, you think of Stranger Things. I like Stranger Things as well. Um, it'll be interesting to see what they do like with the next season now that um, COVID is on its way out, like at least in the US and I think maybe some of the requirements for acting and stuff will get like less stringent so maybe they'll be able to get back on um, making all these shows. Uh, but yeah, um, I love uh, Sailor Moon as far as a long anime but that's a bit more of like a casual light sort of anime type thing. All right, well, at least now I know where all my yellow mums are. They're like hanging out by the Grey Havens. So I'll come back here the next time I need uh, yellow mums. I absolutely cannot watch horror movies. I'm the type of person who watches a horror movie once and then relives it in my head for years, particularly when it's dark in my room at night. Oh. Gosh, I know that you, you described that really well. I guess um, when something sticks with you in a bad way and you can't get it out of your head. Um, I think horror movies for me, they're just like a, not my favorite genre, but I actually don't get super scared from them because I have pretty good like suspension of belief or whatever where I kind of know like what I'm watching isn't real. <laughs> so, um. I'm pretty good when it comes to like horror movies that like not getting too scared. Same with like visiting horror islands and Animal Crossing and stuff. I found this new Netflix show called Girl From Nowhere. Oh cool, what do you think of it so far Rekazoid? Have you finished it? Conjuring too scary for you Jules? I jump at the toaster popping. I can't handle jump scares in horror movies. Uh, now I want to see you play like a, a horror game or like add scare alerts to a stream or something. <laughs> uh, I know a lot of streamers do like a scare alert sometimes. I've always been unsure if that would be a wise thing to add to my channel or not since it tends to have such comfy vibes. <laughs> Seems like a little bit like maybe at odds with my channel perhaps. I'm trying to figure out how much color is too much color and like how much how much mums is too many mums. I can always redo things later though. I need to just keep moving. Oh uh, yeah. Pearls is right. Don't feel bad about it, Lemons. You're valid. Uh, what sort of movies do you like to watch, Lemons? I'm sure uh, whatever genre is your cup of tea is uh, just as good. So I probably want some weeds in this area because I feel like weeds would like really pop off and help drive home like just the... I don't know, the Shire in the woods atmosphere. I need like lots of weeds here. And I think I'm not feeling the, the yellow mum. <laughs> yeah, maybe that can just be like a weed or something. Oh, I don't have any weeds. I'll have to go borrow uh, 
borrow some from Bilbo. <laughs> Go and take some from his pipe weed bag. Oh, sounds like you all uh, are familiar with this movie and have either seen it yourselves or tried to see it. Uh, what was it called again? Conjuring? like horror movies that are based off of true events. Oh, Conjuring's based off of uh, true events. Interesting. Maybe while I'm here, I'll like browse for foresty sorts of items. Just really quickly see if anything stands out as foresty to me. Oh, Claire. Oh, thank you so much, Claire. Mother cry happy six months aka happy year Misha Wa. I love this community and your stream so much Amy and I'm so thankful to be a part of a wonderful thing Mother <laughs> RPLs also new badge Elve Heights Laura B Heights. Oh, the way that you uh, called my my stream a wonderful thing that you're happy to be part of like BRB will I cry Claire. Thank you so much for the uh, amazingly kind words and for six months of support. Um, you're right, that's such a cool milestone and oh man, the way I just like went into that pipe and went nowhere. <laughs> but thank you so much, Claire. I hope you continue to enjoy the, the time here in the community and uh, I can't wait to have many more months with you and uh, feel free to redeem a charm if you'd like. Uh, I know I've sent you uh, stickers before for the sub perk and now you can get a a tree or an acorn in the mail as well for your six months and your whole half of a year. Uh, thank you for the hype and love and chat. Just noticed the wig. Oh, you mean the Bilbo wig, um, Masella? Are you talking about my wig? <laughs> yes, um, at six months, you, you definitely can and should, Claire. Uh, thank you so much. If you put me in front of a screen, in front of a screen that's playing a horror, I would love it, and you'd think I'm creepy by laughing at bad parts in the movie. <laughs> See, so like to to laugh at the cheesiness of it sometimes. There is like a whole genre. They're called like B-list horror films or something. I don't know. I just know that that's kind of a genre of horror. Actually, is like the the lesser made ones. <laughs> Wow, horror is your favorite genre in the whole world, Doremi, that you're picky about horror movies. Uh, so what do you prefer, like books or games? Uh, I'm a little surprised about that though from you. I thought you would be more like a cozy type of um, content appreciator. All right, we've got to have all the weeds for our Shire Forest. I can't wait until they're fully grown though. It's a shame that they gotta be these like small little baby weeds. And uh, let's move these trees around as well. Maybe empty the pockets a little. That might, that might help a little. <laughs> Looking kind of full right now. Oh, Bilbo's wig. Yeah, that was such a fun stream when we did uh, like the Bilbo section. It was one of my favorite streams I've done. <laughs> I love how your island's always at the end of March. I know. Uh, maybe once I actually kind of like make some progress on my dream address though and releasing that to the public, maybe I can finally move on. Um, I'd love to see the Shire like in autumn as well, or in winter time, or just get to experience the whole year with it. I 
I love to do stuff like this. A bit of a tip is that the hedges are taller than the bushes, so if you layer them in this way, it kind of just looks like different sized bushes scattered around. I might even kind of like overdo it sometimes. So feel free to like yell at me <laughs> if you think I'm overdoing it. But um, in general, I like doing that move. Oh, thank you, Masella. This one's my favorite. I love the green wig. Do you, do any of you like to keep your island like at a certain time of year or am I like the only silly one in the house that does that? Oh no, I didn't cover up the cypress plant pot. <laughs> How could I forget? Darn. I like to laugh at the serious parts of horror movies, like someone being exercised to get a demon out of them. That's interesting. Is it the effects that make you laugh? Like uh, seeing how they, however they do the effects? And hey Kim, how's it going Kim? Kim's a lovely uh, streamer with me on a Club Tortimer. Uh, what have you been up to this Saturday Kim? Love this concept. Oh, like the Shire concept, Yathene. Thank you so much. You know that part of the um, the Fellowship of the Ring when Bilbo wakes up from his book? I'm kind of trying to make that area. So the more kind of like greenery and, and bushes and stuff, the better. I might be kind of overdoing it though. <laughs> I have such a bad habit of that. Like I have to fill every space. No space can be left unturned. For the Wild World Path, you use in Suncomb. Does it have other varieties than red? No, I didn't make other colors for it. Because I like it in the, in the red color. You only cycle through spring and summer SARS. Uh, that makes sense, especially if you have like a, a greenery sort of island. Uh, not all themes translate super well to like different times of year and stuff like that. Everyone is surprised when I tell them I love horror. I love horror games so much. I actually made a pixel one and released it in 2019. Oh my gosh, that's amazing, Doremi. But you're right, I wouldn't have pegged you like that at all. <laughs> I thought you were my Pokemon Diamond and Pearl buddy and like you were, you know, my Animal Crossing buddy and you're always so like kind spoken in chat, but you're like a, <laughs> a horror fan fiend. It's amazing. And uh, congratulations on like releasing your own game. That's really impressive. Uh, I need some more trees, unfortunately. So I guess I'm gonna maybe either spy out trees that I'm not using over here, or like maybe I'll have to do some time traveling and tree planting. Uh, I should probably just <laughs> do some time traveling and tree planting. Cause I don't want to take away from the landscaping I did up here by the farm. Let's go down over to Nooks and get some saplings, plant some virtual trees. Oh, thank you for getting the shout out for Kim Jules. You were last playing some uh, some Genshin Impact. Oh my gosh, Victoria ran a little too hard there. Victoria, my little racehorse. Let's go check up on her. Make sure she's uh staying hydrated, as the jocks would say. Oh, thank you. I lost my voice. I was trying to be a heavy metal singer instead of a pop star. I am so not metal. <laughs> like all those uh, KK metal memes. Oh, and look at these three or these two. I was counting myself because I'm about to sit down next to them too. What are we looking at, y'all? Kiki's like, all right, I'm out of here. <laughs> Catch y'all later, I gotta go catch some bugs. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave Quilson all alone now. <laughs> I love villager antics. Got Murphy over here sniffing flowers. God, they're so cute. I like it when the hydrangeas are in bloom. 
Oh, I'm a little afraid of when hydrangeas are in bloom in my town, uh, Masella, because you know the appeal of having... You know the appeal of having blank bushes, right? Like, that's one of the pillars, one of the cornerstones of decorating is to have blank bushes. You don't want all your bushes to be blooming. And so my non-blooming bushes are hydrangeas. <laughs> And it's gonna look so bad when they bloom because I didn't really place them in any particular way. They're just supposed to be my blank bushes. So uh, pray for me during hydrangea season, y'all. Is it hydrangea season right now? The charm will go on your water bottle, Claire. Oh, I can't wait for you to get that. Oh, so um, you have like a special uh, water bottle that that can hang charms on it. I've also seen people somehow put charms like on on their systems, but like I don't really know how they do that. <laughs> like their Switch or their 3DS. Uh, by the way, uh, I forgot to do the giveaways, so we're actually gonna do two right now. Um, so sorry, <laughs> we're gonna do two. Uh, this one is for craftables like acorns and um, let me go over some of what's in the giveaway uh, while y'all are thinking about entering so it's got mushrooms acorns pine cones ornaments some gold nuggets cherry blossom petals fragments bamboo anyway like if you want like a bunch of odd crafting items to just sort of put in your storage and have them come in handy for when you need them uh, feel free to enter exclamation point enter um, the bulk of it are acorns and pine cones which if you have like a fall themed island or uh, you find it painful to just shake those trees over and over that might come in handy for you so we got some more pears and we got we actually didn't get more pears maybe we should <laughs> Maybe we should while we're over here. You love the six month badge? Oh, thank you, Claire. I have my favorites too. I like the fully grown tree badge as well. You went kayaking, Kim? It was so lovely, but towards the end, I was tired and starving. We went for milkshakes after. I decided I was too tired to stream, so I'm, now I get to chill with you all. Ah, milkshakes. The way you have me craving a milkshake right now. That sounds amazing. Sounds like a, an incredible day, Kim. You should be really proud of going out there and kayaking and enjoying nature. But yeah, I feel you. Uh, it's tiring work and hungry work. <laughs> and uh, hi, Big Brutus. Welcome in. How are you? This has given me so much inspiration for my island. I've been stuck and bored with mine lately. Oh, I'm glad. I, I love decorating. I even have plans for an island after this one. Um, after this one, I think I'm gonna do like a celestial theme and go totally like far away from what this is. This is uh, all cottage core and green. And I think for the next one, it'll be very elegant and celestial and stuff like that. All right, so unfortunately, I think I have to plant some trees and do some time traveling, so bear with me. We've also been playing this uh, 209 for a hot minute. I'm not complaining though, I do love this song, but maybe we can go back to our other playlist now. We were gonna play some Donkey Kong Country, weren't we? <laughs> Let's play some Donkey Kong Country. And uh, good luck with the giveaway, everybody. It's for uh, craftable items. I think I'm gonna, before I forget and to get the next giveaway going, let's go ahead and wrap it up and pick the winner. Oh. Oh, Doremi, you won. Congratulations. I hope these craftables uh, come in handy for you. I hope you're able to put them in good use. I remember you telling me that you have like a fairy core island, uh, Doremi, so maybe that'll come in handy having like, all those mushrooms and stuff. So, 
Let me pull up your name and check your Twitch whispers in a second. And you should be able to recognize the items pretty well. It looks like a bunch of cluttered um, materials everywhere. The other day while I was talking uh, to my mom on the phone about my fear of confrontation and the icon that she is, she said, of course you don't like beef, Claire. You're vegan. Oh, that is adorable. Your mom's, uh, your mom's a good uh, punner. My game has lots of cute moments. For example, the save points in my game are sleeping kitties. The sound of purring is meant to heal and calm your character. Oh, wow. You should uh, maybe let us know what your game is. Is it like on Steam or uh, like how, how would we check it out and see what you did? This horror game that you made. They put charms on their systems by using the headphone jack to hold it with a little plastic that has a hole at the top that can hold the charms. Oh, okay. Uh, wow, that really did explain something to me, Hydro Kappa. I had no idea how people did that, because I would always look at my systems and my 3DSs, and I'd be like, well, I can't fit one on mine. So it was always a bit of a mystery to me. It's kind of one of the fun little things about streaming. I have to admit, like, I like learn things from you all. Like the other day I was um, in my house and I didn't really understand the mom's teapot and how like, I was like, how can this teapot be made out of yarn? <laughs> and y'all were explaining to me that no, it just goes over the teapot. I learned so many things from you all. <laughs> it's embarrassing. But yeah, let's do some time traveling now. Got our trees planted. Oh, what's wrong, KK Slider? Hope you're uh, doing all right and have some band-aids. Band Let's time travel uh, three days uh, for the teenager trees. My beloved uh, teenager trees that are just the right cute sort of height. Oh uh, yeah, you're gonna wanna drop all that inventory before you come over, Doremi. No, no rush, no pressure. Your game is called Irma and it's free to download. Ah, cool. Let me go check out that site. Thank you for letting us know. Oh, so horror games get you harder than horror uh, movies. Ah, that makes sense. There's something about like playing a game and jump scares and stuff like coming out at you. What actually just came to my mind that I played the most recently that had some jump scares, it was like this Nancy Drew game. Uh, every now and then there would be like this uh, jump scare as you were playing Nancy Drew, it was kind of funny. Hi Boomer! Being our uh, menu screen model. I didn't know that the mom items could be customized. Yeah, the only mom items that can't be customized are the clothing. I guess clothing is just forever uncustomizable. Oh, does the link in my profile not work for the Discord, Euphine? I'll definitely check that later. I feel like it should. But yeah, there's the Discord link. Thank you, Masella. Yeah, and uh, thanks for your interest. We do um, have a lot of Animal Crossing channels over there as well as to chat about other topics and uh, I want to start doing like movie nights and community nights over there <laughs> but the problem was uh, I was gonna do my first movie night or you know, my first community night like on Sunday like tomorrow but then I might actually just like stream tomorrow instead we'll see uh, okay so we time traveled our pockets are full so I think I'm gonna try to get rid of my mums and then plant some more trees and pick up the existing trees. I just need to like tree farm for a hot minute. Oh. There's actually some trees over here. 
<laughs> I didn't I didn't realize that there were these over here. Okay, maybe I can just take these. Five nights at Freddy's. Oh my gosh, I remember when that was like the hot thing on Twitch. I haven't really seen people play that a lot. I have to say the one game that I just continuously see like over and over that seems really really popular oh wow did i not time travel wait this is an absolute mystery to me i have no idea i am on a different date y'all right or did i not time travel why are these still small <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused right now. I must just not have done it right. Oh, Jules, thank you so much for gifting us up to you, Fiend. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the support and sharing that love with uh, someone else from the community. And welcome on into the Forest Fam, you, Fiend. I hope you enjoy those emotes and uh, ad free viewing. Thank you so much, Jules. Let's get some hype and love and a uh, warm welcome in chat. Oh my gosh, Hammy, you remember Ethel from Nancy Drew? Holy crap, I didn't even remember Ethel's name. <laughs> I'm like laughing because of that Nancy Drew game I played and I played it on someone else's stream, you know, like I played. I played it on someone else's stream as kind of like a collab. And so that's why Hammy knows what I'm talking about, about the Nancy Drew jump, jump scares. I feel like I've heard this like follow fee song a million times. Maybe, maybe we should go onto a different playlist. Uh, if I read out the, the names of my playlists to y'all, maybe you can tell me what mood you're in the mood for. We have Cozy, which is kind of my one-size-fits-all, just like a bunch of different video game songs that are all kind of cozy and eclectic and very varied. Calming has like a lot of night tracks on it, and it's very like soothing. We have Magical and Mysterious, Nighttime, Afternoon, Rustic and Easygoing, Jaunty, Winter, well probably not Winter, Evening, Summer, <laughs> Water, Space, Forest, Morning. Oh my gosh, I'm like showing how dedicated I am to my playlist creation here. <laughs> but yeah, if any of those appeal to you, feel free to let me know. All right, no news to report. The weekend is so close, Isabel can taste it, y'all. We're not there yet, but we're so close. <laughs> According to Isabel. Mobile is so odd sometimes. Oh, like with Discord links and stuff. Yeah, I still want to look into that though. The scariest game I've played is Doki Literature Club. Um, I remember hearing a lot about that game. Isn't that game also kind of famous for like waifus essentially? <laughs> like don't you just kind of like pick on who to crush on sort of? But does it have like a scary end to it? Yeah, I think I must have time traveled wrong. <laughs> They're all fully grown now. We, we solved the mystery. All right, let me drop my mums and Get started, I guess. Let's pull this uh, beautiful little Frodo sitting under a tree, like eating his picnic build. You mentioned your next island is going to be elegant and celestial. It reminded me I never told Chat I finally decided on my island for your first Animal Crossing island. You're going to name it Stardust and going to go for like pixie dust oh that sounds really a uh, beautiful shy yeah shy just uh started their island like a few days ago like their very first um animal crossing island so uh big congrats to you shy and how are you liking it so far is it um meeting all your expectations and dreams for a new animal crossing island 
You find Minecraft scary? I've heard it has intense moments, like there's like monsters in Minecraft and stuff. I've I've never played Minecraft. Um, I've only just like heard things and seen some Twitch streams. And thanks for the love and hype and chat. The nighttime playlist sounds interesting. Ooh, sure. It is um, 8.30 here. So let's see what comes on. The first track is some New Leaf music. Do y'all recognize this one? Love Doki Doki. They're releasing an expansion. Oh, I think I remember hearing about that actually. <laughs> the video game news world. Oh, Rekazoid, F and Chad, I didn't uh, get to answer that question before I <laughs> switched playlists. But Hammy might know. So you're on day three and you like it, but want things to speed up. Yeah, I remember I found it very striking about New Horizons that you have to work for everything that you took advantage in past games. Like, in past games, Able Sisters was just kind of there. Like, it was there from the get-go. And in this game, you have to, like, work for everything. Every little shop, every, every Able's, <laughs> every Able's. <laughs> You know what I mean. Gotta work for everything. I'm trying to figure out like just how forested I want. Like does that hide the path too much? I don't think it does. I actually think I like that little tree there. I do want this area to feel woodsy after all. Oh, Sars, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you hanging out this long. Much love. And I uh, hope you have a great weekend and enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Um, I just remembered something. So after uh, Jeremy uh, leaves, which I think they might be heading out now, we do have another giveaway to do because I meant to do one at both two hours and at three hours. It happens to me sometimes that I get a little caught up in things. So let me see what the next one is. All right, so the next one is a fairy core item set. It's got some like fairy core DIYs, like the DIYs for like the mush lamp and the hyacinth lamp and just like sort of common items that you would use in like a fairy-esque town and um, it's got both the DIYs and also has like mush lamps in bulk and hyacinth lamps in bulk and um, just like things that I thought were fairy core-esque because uh, I try to be creative with what I pick to be these different uh, giveaways so that they can suit like a large amount of people and maybe get different people excited and suit different people's towns so let's do this uh fairy core giveaway and uh good luck everyone i uh, got to switch off mobile mobile uh you fiend. got kk slider on your island in three days Ooh, i have speed run the beginning of the game basically um a little bit of a fun fact about me is i do not like the beginning of new horizons anymore i loved it at first but for me it kind of lacks replayability like i don't really greatly relish uh doing all those beginning of the game tasks and unlocking everything over again so sometimes, like, if I'm starting a new town, I, I like to almost just, like, speed run it in a single day. <laughs> I have unlocked terraforming in a single day before. Just literally play all day. Sorry, I'm, I'm really trying to think about how I want to structure these trees, by the way. Like, I'm, <laughs> like how do I want these? Thank you. 
Fairy core islands are fun. Yeah. I love that aesthetic. It's, a, it's almost a shame I haven't really fully done that aesthetic to the fullest. Picked up your goodies. Oh, I hope you have fun with them. Happy crafting, um, Doremi. Yeah, and good luck. Um, I'll try to wrap it up soon because I don't want to forget again. Yeah, do you all think that maybe, like, if I plant a tree too close here, like, it covers up the path too much? So I either have to do, like, a, a teenager tree or not a big tree at all. And there's got to be some place for the picnic blanket to hang out. Yeah, I think I have an idea. I think it would be really cute for maybe the picnic blanket to hang out near the water. So maybe I'll kind of tuck the picnic blanket over here and then plant some more trees on the other side of the picnic blanket for it to like ease into the party tree area. The only problem is I'm not sure I'll be thrilled to see the picnic blanket from this view because this view is so elegant and striking. I'm not sure if I'd like a little cottage core picnic blanket to be visible like from this view. I don't know if I'm making any sense at all, but I just feel like this view is very dramatic and like has great pan up appeal. So I don't know if I want to see a picnic blanket from that angle. But let's try it out and see how it looks. This view is amazing. Oh, thank you, Yuffin. How do you go about planning everything? Uh, the way I plan um, my town building is I take things like one area at a time. Like I don't really terraform the whole island at once, which I know some people do. I focus on literally one area and I piece it all together. And the way I do it as well is I prioritize like what I care most about and I start with that and so that way like I have room for everything on my island and I don't run out of room for the stuff that I really care about. So um, not gonna lie it does feel pretty good to kind of have a formula <laughs> at this point. <laughs> like um, I'm not just like playing in the dark like I was back in the early days of New Horizons. I have something that works for me. Uh, for this island, as an example, what I started with was the land bridge. The very first thing I ever did on this island was that land bridge you see in the far right of the town. And I wanted to make sure I had room for that and I had room for my village. And then I just uh, picked these different areas to make sure that I fully prioritized each one. I hope this is an okay spot for my for my picnic. And let's go ahead and uh, pick the winner of the giveaway before I forget. Drum roll. Oh, it was Shy. <laughs> shy out here gonna be the flashiest day three island ever with all these fairy core islands or fairy core items. Oh, I hope you enjoy those, Shy. Look at look at you getting this head start on your third day. And uh, we'll have a few more. Um, I have at least, yeah, I have like three more giveaways. So uh, we'll have a few more throughout the stream, but let me send that um, message over to Shy. I have no idea what to do now. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Um, let me explain. Do you have the airport um, access, Shy? Uh, if you talk to the bird at the airport. Um, Winter, hey. Much love, Winter. Oh, everyone uh, sent super positive vibes and uh, so much hype and love and shot for our friend Winter. Uh, she's a super amazing um, fellow LGBT uh, streamer on the platform and streams a lot of Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley and 
is super creative and uh, makes some of her own paths too. And um, currently like having some uh, technical difficulties though, so uh, send some extra love and uh, positive vibes her way. I hope you're doing all right, Winter. Thank you so much for that resub and all that support. Seven months. Uh, I can't believe it. Thank you so much for um, all your support and friendship, Winter. I love having you in the Force fam. And Roni, thank you for the bits. And so what I was going to say to you, uh, Shy, is that when you go to the airport, you talk to the bird there and you say that you want to go to another island via dodo code. The dodo code is very important. Uh, the dodo code is how you'll get to my island. Um, you enter the code that I sent you and then you'll be able to be on your way and uh, go and get those items. Shy might need to make a few trips with their inventory space. Oh, gotcha. Dreamy. Thank you so much for gifting a sub out into the community. Uh, nerdy Ta Natasha, I hope you enjoy that gift sub courtesy of Dreamy. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Uh, thank you so much for that uh, love and support. Uh, Dreamy, you're so sweet. I've loved uh, chatting with you today about your your horror game, <laughs> learning that you're a horror fan. and um, uh, Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. And hi, Fox, how's it going? I'm gonna see the progress on, on the Shire themed island. We're doing that part of the movie where uh, Frodo wakes up and he's like reading his book. Isn't he kind of like leaning against a tree? I feel like I've gotta have the book like next to a tree. But the problem is I don't wanna hide the path. Do you all ever have that struggle where you like don't wanna hide a path too much? Like. Uh, I'm really struggling with that hard right now, but I gotta have the tree that Frodo leans on. <laughs> so, let me think about this, I guess. Maybe I gotta move this picnic blanket after all. Darn it. <laughs> you went to see a friend tonight to cheer yourself up. Oh, I'm glad you got to do that, Wincher. Um, glad you have that, like, IRL support as well. Uh, what did you and uh, your friend get up to? <laughs> Fox, that is not the dodo code. <laughs> oh. Feels like this song has been going on for like 20 minutes here. <laughs> yeah, it has. It's been going on for 10 minutes. Holy crap. Guess I put an extended version up on my on my playlist. Doesn't it feel like those extended versions are everywhere? Like, there's so many, like, extended versions on YouTube. So let's try the tree, like, right here. Maybe that's far enough away from the path to not hide it. Yep, he was against the tree, but I don't, he keeps hiding the path too much. This is a problem. Maybe if I move it down one more, maybe that'll be good. Oh, Fox, you got your rotten acorn. Rotten acorn gang. <laughs> oh, thank you, Yofine. I'm glad you like the emotes. Uh, we've got some more on BTTV and on uh, Discord as well. And enjoy. I hope you um, get some good use out of those fairy core items. Very chill though. Yeah, that was like the city music from uh, City Folk, if any of you like remember playing that game. Uh, that was what that long track was <laughs> that I had on for like 20 minutes. <laughs> Alright, so I keep tearing down at this cliff, which I guess is fair enough, but... I don't want to, like, run out of room for my picnic blanket. Oh, Jules. <laughs> Cornimer bot telling you you're too picky. What are you too picky about, Jules? <laughs> Tell me. 
It's like a, a tarot reading from a corner robot. Either that or just uh, vague criticism. <laughs> well, at least you're healthy, Lemons, according to Cornimer. What does he know about it? <laughs> Jeez, what's with all the rotten acorns? I'm so sorry, y'all. I feel like I have to give an apology on behalf of my bot. Like, what the f <laughs> So many rotten acorns. Oh my gosh, Winter got the, the run laps one. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not the run laps one. <laughs> Caroline! Oh, welcome in. Don't worry about being late. Um, if you want to see like a cool island tour that was kind of ex inspired by Lord of the Rings though, uh, you can go to like earlier in the VOD later, uh, but welcome in. I hope you had a good time at the movies. What movie did you see? And uh, right now we're trying to make like the the part where Bilbo's or Frodo's leaning against the the tree at the beginning of Fellowship and reading a book. I thought that would be such a great little nod to put somewhere in the Shire. So trying to find like a good home for that somewhere. New Horizons is my first ever Animal Crossing game. I didn't realize how long it's been going on. Yeah, I think um, it might have celebrated its uh, 20th anniversary at some point. Um, yeah, it is pretty old. I played it when I was like uh, nine years old or so on the on like the GameCube version. Yeah, let's. Uh have it over here and then maybe like can sort of get a peek of the river and like lean against the tree with your book yeah that'll be good <laughs> did you say that yours was accurate KK slider and you got the giant acorn oh that flex Rotten acorns are the best. <laughs> Embracing the rotten acorn. You watch The Quiet Place too? Ah, oh, we were talking about movies earlier and how um, someone earlier had seen The Conjuring. And I uh, wonder what uh, Quiet Place 2 is about. I'm not, I'm not up on all my movies and stuff. Need to catch up. Alright, I am loving this little picnic spot so far. I think it has just the right, like, sort of spot tucked by the river and with trees in the background and hopefully trees in the foreground, too. I hope to plant some trees, like, in front of it, too. Oh, you got a giant one too, Kappa. Finally, the, the bot lightened up a bit. My first Animal Crossing game was Pocket Camp. Oh, cool. Mine was the, the GameCube version. Um, I tried to get into Pocket Camp and I found, my, I found myself getting too tempted to like spend IRL money, so... Yeah, I don't know. I wish that uh, Pocket Camp almost was like a single price and then it didn't have like all the microtransactions in it. I would have happily paid like $20 just to play it like as a game without like all the microtransactions. Hmm, let me see if I can get a tree in here somewhere. Like maybe right here, like in this little spot. Oh, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome on in. The Quiet Place 2, nice. And The Conjuring's a great series. Sounds like Kim is cultured on her movies. <laughs> I like the way my dad got a medium acorn. <laughs> Funny to see my dad uh, partaking in the 
Cornimer bot shenanigans. <laughs> Your first game was Wild World, Jupiter? Oh, I love Wild World. Um, I have a really special place in my heart for Wild World. I played it a lot, and it was some of the first content that I ever created. Um, if you want to see some of my old, like, uh, Wild World, like, towns and tours and stuff, um, you can check out, like, some of my more popular videos on YouTube are, like, the Wild World ones. Um, yeah, I love that game. I wonder if that's good for, like, a foreground tree. Should there be, like, one more tree a little closer, or will that be, like, tree claustrophobia? <laughs> Recently watched the new Cruella movie. Another one I haven't heard of. Um, are y'all seeing them in theaters now? Like, getting more comfortable going out and about and getting back to normal? Oh, my dad's seen Quiet Place. <laughs> For anyone who doesn't know, a uh, big Vol fan and Shad is, uh, is the stream dad. And uh, see you later, KK Slider. Thanks for being here. I don't like the way this tree is so green. <laughs> All the other ones are these like pleasant light colors. And then like this one is like lime green. Like who asked for that? Have y'all noticed the trees can be like different colors weirdly? Like even not in autumn, like just in the middle of spring, they can be like different colors. What the heck? Ah, oh, I'm out of pears though, so I can't move it quite yet. Let's go and get some more pears. There are so many things. Oh, good luck, Shy. <laughs> Shy won a giveaway. Your hair is pretty. Oh, thank you, Jupiter. I have to admit it is a wig, though. I have a lot of fun with wigs. My my real hair is kind of like blackish, um, which I actually thought about wearing my real hair today. Wasn't having a bad hair day, <laughs> but I thought the wig would look really nice with uh, my green top. My favorite Wild World Town is Suncomb, because it looks like a lot for such a limited game. Yeah, I think that's one of my more popular YouTube videos, is the Suncomb tour. Played po Pocket Camp so much at its release, and it definitely hurt my wallet quite a bit. It was worth it, though. Love my Fairy Core Camp. Yeah, I think that's really, uh, that's really fair, Doremi. If you've got, like, a lot of love out of it, and you've got some joy, then it's money well spent. In a weird way, I felt like I couldn't decorate as well in Pocket Camp. Like, maybe it was just harder to get a hold of the items, but that's one reason why I didn't like it was, um, you know, I love my decorating. In Pocket Camp, it just seemed harder to get a hold of, of cool things, which I guess was part of the point. Oh, I need pears. Oh, I do have a few in here. I have some of the, the butt fruit as well that we were talking about. <laughs> Take some of those. Hi, Sleepy Tabby. How are you? Welcome in. The way I keep going into this pipe that goes nowhere. <laughs> Maybe one of these minutes I'll learn. You were going to go watch In the Heights today, but your mom wanted to watch it together. Aw, maybe soon, uh, Jupiter. That's sweet that your mom wants to see it with you in a way. Been going to Disney Plus Premiere Access for new mo movies, basically the same amount my husband and I would pay in theaters. Is that a way of watching it, like, on the streaming service? I think I'm over watching movies at the theater. Watching at home is so much better. I have to admit, I do like the coziness of watching a movie at home. But if you're at a social event or like with certain types of people, like if you're on a date or something, I feel like the the movie is a better like envi the movie theater is a better environment for that. I also love the the movie theater popcorn, but technically, I mean, you can buy that at the store. <laughs> Costco sells some uh, movie theater popcorn that you can microwave. All right. 
You know, I bragged earlier that I was good at like tree placements. <laughs> now I'm like not so sure. I'm, I'm struggling. Uh, do I like the teenager tree there? I think I do. Because otherwise, if it's a big boy tree, it'll cover up the, the bridge build too much. Whoa, there was a green mum there? Alright. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. So this is our little picnic area so far. Let's put the book where it needs to go. Definitely possible to play pocket camp without spending money, but I'm too impatient and have no self-control. <laughs> yeah, and plus it uh, doesn't seem like a lot, but then it just sort of adds up over time, I guess. One of your favorite things to do is go to the movies. Aw, that's sweet, Caroline. Uh, I've gotten the impression you like going to the pool a lot, too. Going to the pool is one of your favorite things as well. Uh, my neighborhood does have like a um, public pool, which is kind of nice. I don't really go to it a whole lot, though. <laughs> the last time I went to like my public pool, um, I was really vibing and playing like water basketball and then like a bunch of <laughs> little boys had to start like taking over the water basketball area and I got a little haughty. <laughs> Wasn't pleased about that. Me being like a, a Karen with the water basketball. Oh no, I want to do a tree glitch here but I'm gonna have to ruin my, my blanket build to do the tree glitch. Uh, but for anyone who's uh, newer, I do the tree glitch a lot, but I haven't done it on my stream in a hot minute. It's where you can uh, put a tree like on the edge of a cliff. This is how you set it up here. Popcorn. Oh, that makes me think of Lisa. Yeah, I love popcorn. I like theaters, especially with the spoopy films. There's something about being in a dark theater that adds to the experience. The biggest reason is the movie theater popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> they know too, like that's like what's most um, expensive about the whole thing or where they get the most money is like the concessions. Uh, that tree might be getting too claustrophobic, but at the same time, I feel like it helps make everything even just that much more cozy and forested. So I'm gonna give that a try and see if I warm up to that tree being there. You heard the beep beep, Fox. Jeez, I can't believe, um... Well, I guess I just got a little confused. I was like, wait... Um, I've only been live for three hours and 30 minutes, so how did it go beep beep? And then I realized I didn't start my stream on the hour. <laughs> Had a big brain moment. You have a surround sound set up for your uh, watching movies at home, you fiend. One day we'll feel comfortable going back to theaters. Yeah, I mean, if you like your home setup, I think that's super cozy. Nothing wrong with that at all. I don't know. Do you think that tree in the foreground is too claustrophobic, like I've been saying? Is it, like, too close? And also, I guess what kind of bugs me is that you can't sit in the spot with the book. It's almost like maybe I should have the book to the side and have a cushion, like, where, where the tree is, so you can sit on the, the cushion and have the book next to you or like maybe in front of you or something like you need to be able to pose like Frodo in that movie like against the tree with the book so maybe something like this would be better all right I could I could see it let's go and get a cushion I guess love the pool too Caroline I was a lifeguard for years and years as a side job. Oh, really? Did you like it? Was that one of your um, 
favorite little jobs or did it have like its uh pros and cons my dad will go to the movie theater just for popcorn yeah well it's fun for a movie you're excited about especially like um i remember getting into some of the marvel movies um i didn't you know start a marvel fan i didn't like grow up reading the comics or whatever but like in the lead up to infinity war i did get into the marvel movies a little and uh, it was fun to go and see those in theaters for that you know full theater experience of everyone being invested and you're all you know experiencing it together and eating that popcorn seeing it on the big screen with the with the big sound so i can see how it can have appeal but Probably mostly for movies I'm excited about, and I wouldn't just go to the boobies just to go to the movies. What did I come over here for? Did my shovel break or something like that? <laughs> I literally, like, have no idea why I'm here right now. Like, I have no idea. Oh, yes, I was gonna go buy a cushion. And so I went to Nook's instead of <laughs> going to my house. Man, it is funny what I do on autopilot sometimes. Like, I almost want to, like, study it as a science. Like, write it down, like, what I do. <laughs> How many times I just go, like, running to nooks and start buying fruit or, or shovels when I meant to go to my house. <laughs> quiet Place. Oh, what is this Quiet Place movie about that y'all keep bringing up? Frodo can rest his back on the tree. Yeah, I'm a little worried that the cushion might not look foresty enough for me and might not look natural enough, but I feel like you gotta have that pose where you're sitting against the tree. So we gotta go and get a cushion. Sort it by alphabetical. I stand the alphabetical assortment at this point because I can never remember where anything is. Cushion, cushion, cushion. Oh no! Do I not have a cushion? <laughs> Is Rhinestone still here? Wants to send me a cushion? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Rhinestone is so sweet. They're always sending me stuff in the mail that I need. Um, but speaking of cushions, I do have these cushions. They're not the right kind, but I wanted to show off my hobbit hole a little. <laughs> this is my uh, Bilbo room for uh, writing writing his books and stuff. You heard Marvel KK Slider? Yeah. What do you all think of it? Um, feels like it's been a while since there's been a big Marvel release and it, they used to just come one after another, like back to back. I guess it's kind of like in between um, sections of the story. Like it kind of ended with the Infinity War thing and now it's moving on to the next phase. So here's my other bedroom, my other hobbit hole. Oh, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Dang, all this Mario Galaxy music making me want to play Mario Galaxy. All right, let's order a cushion. Took a few trips with my tiny pockets. Oh, I'm so sorry, Shy. <laughs> Poor Shy won a giveaway that was set up for a full inventory, um, like a full late game inventory, and Shy just started, so Shy had to make like three trips. <laughs> oh, you think like the piano stool or the stone stool or like a wooden stool? Yeah, I think the wooden stool would actually work really well, like if I didn't have the picnic blanket. It's almost like I have to choose between the picnic blanket or um, having a more natural seating arrangement, but I think the picnic blanket is pretty cute, so I might just go with that. Quiet Place is basically about aliens, monster things, that if you make a sound it attracts them, so basically you'd have to try and be quiet to survive. Ooh, sounds really interesting. I'm wondering if I should replace Bettina's picnic blanket with that picnic blanket I keep using everywhere else. 
or if she's fine with like this cute little white one. You can send me a cushion if you need. Oh, really, Jules? You'll send me a cushion? Ah, oh, thank you so much. Let me know when you sent it, and let me know if you need anything, Jules. <laughs> so excited for Black Widow. Oh yeah, I think I remember hearing about that. That must be the next one coming out. Wish we could just send anyone everything without having to best friend them first. Oh, if you want to add me, Rivendell, um, this is my friend code, but I guess there is the extra step where we would have to meet up sometime and Wi-Fi and then we can send each other things after that. But yeah, that's my buy water friend code. So in the meantime, uh, before we either time travel or obtain a cushion somehow, maybe we can work a little on our flower arranging. Try to figure out what flowers I want where. I'll focus on the weeds first, I think, like where I want the weeds, and then I'll uh, go around and plant the mums. I'm so emo about the tall weeds. I want to put the tall weeds like absolutely everywhere, but um, you can only have 150 of the tall weeds. <laughs> it makes me so sad. I'm thinking about like sometime off stream, I'm gonna like have a little notebook and like record like all 150 and like analyze <laughs> the best placements for them. Like I'm gonna get that extra about it. <laughs> I'm so sad. Uh, I th feel like that weed might be too close to this one. Let's spread it out a bit more. Oh, I can't wait to see how you use those items, Shy. Feel free to share in Discord if you um, create like a little fairy core space with them. I was a huge Marvel fan. Now that there's been a break, I still enjoy it, but I feel like I don't need to be going there on opening weekend anymore. Opening weekend was always my go-to for that full experience to enjoy it. So if that was always your full experience, why wouldn't she need to do that anymore? Maybe that would help reinvigor your, like, excitement for it, Kim. <laughs> Just gotta give it another chance, get that excitement going. Uh, maybe we can do another <laughs> tall weed here. I'm like, let's do a tall weed here, here, here. The spot is kind of important though, like I really do want the spot to be nice and woodsy and pop off a little, so I guess I'm okay with using a few of my tall weed spots here. And uh, thanks for the suggestion about the mum cushion, uh, Pixelberry, that's a really cute... Um, it's a really cute suggestion. I actually don't think the mum cushion comes in green though. Am I mistaken about that? I think it comes in red, white, and yellow. It should come in green. Why doesn't it come in green? I'm trying to figure out how I can get this weed to be visible. Yeah, I guess that weed isn't super visible. It'll be visible from the path though. I'm just gonna pick that up for now. Did that with trees. Oh, what are you referring to, pixel berries? Sorry about that. I think I was uh, behind on chat and didn't look at it for a little while. Love the blanket pattern. Ah, oh, cool. I actually, like, I didn't, um, I didn't make this blanket. I used a code, so I'll probably go and share that over in the Discord later, like the custom design section. And uh, this creator actually has some other picnic blankets in other colors, like it's not just green, they have one in yellow as well, and uh, some plaid ones of different types. K 
can I add you as a friend? Oh, sure. I mean, I'm not really close to getting um, full like on the switch or anything, so feel free. Uh, something that I plan to do maybe like as time goes on or like when Bywater is finally done, I'll probably want to have some sort of party in Bywater in celebration. Like we can all party at the party tree. That's one of my little hopes. I don't really know like how many flowers to go wild with here. Maybe I should spread them out at least a little just so it's not super spammy. Put some like flower patterns here and there to separate the actual flowers that are bulky. And uh, maybe I should have some bushes spread here and there too. Oh, I love this song. Don't you all love like the the nighttime tracks in Animal Crossing? They do a good, such a good job of like setting the mood, setting the vibe. Making a Marvel edit right now. Oh, cool. Hope that's going well, KK Slider. Cushion scent. Oh, thank you, Jules. Let's go and test out the cushion and, and see if the cushion vibes or not. I'm gonna rearrange some of these flowers. I am the pickiest flower arranger of all time. I could spend hours just like arranging flowers. And in fact, there is an area of my island that was pretty much developed and probably you all thought was done, but I don't really like the flower arrangement for it anymore. It's actually my area over by like Gandalf. Um, I think the flower arrangement is way too like colorful and just all over the place now. So it's kind of on my to-do to list to totally redo this garden. It looked cute when I first did it and I thought I was a fan, but it's just too bright and colorful. Nothing against bright and colorful, but sometimes toning it down isn't bad either. I was sort of going for this effect where you would look out over the edge and all the like warm colors would kind of blend together. So I guess I was kind of going for the overlook almost more than just like being in the garden. But I want to redo it. Uh, let's head over and get our cushion. If my friends ask to go, then I might tag along, but otherwise I'm okay. If Darcy Lewis, the character in the Thor films, makes a comeback in the movies and not just in WandaVision, then I might be more inclined to be more hyped for Marvel again. Oh, interesting. Yeah, well, I can't say my hype is at its highest ed ebb either because it's been like out of my life for so long. Oh, thank you, Jules. We can also maybe go and take a stop by the museum, donate our informative statue, or not. <laughs> or not, the, inner, the universe intervenes. <laughs> oh god. You'd love to party at the party tree. Yeah, I think the fireworks festival would really like complete it, don't you? Fireworks overhead. Ah, getting close to the time period for our next giveaway. Don't let me forget, y'all. Like five minutes. All right, let's customize this cushion. Oh my gosh, it looks so funny with like the the cobblestone on it. I was thinking um, maybe I could use this to be a little bit less matchy-matchy with the blanket. It is kind of matchy-matchy with the blanket though. Frodo's out here like gathering his perfect um, home magazine stylish blanket and pillow combo. Taking that out to the forest with him. <laughs> Did you all see that? Me with the pipe again? How many times have I done that this stream? I'm gonna start keeping a count. We're like up to at least three or four times here. <laughs> and uh, hi, 
Tipper Callrat, uh, welcome in. I'm sorry if I butchered your name. Feel free to let me know uh, what I should call you. See that rat emoji? I used to love grand openings at movies, but I don't know, after this past year, it would have to be something really, really hyped to deal with a crowd. Yeah, I get that. It's hard to go back to the old normal of things and after a year of being like cooped up. I think we'll get there though. Bit by bit we'll uh, get back to normal, hopefully. All right, here's our cushion. Are you ready for the moment of truth to see if it vibes? I feel like maybe the, the book being on a half space might help it, or maybe not, because that way it looks like you're literally, like, have it out in front of you. You're reading it, like, from far away. Got that, like, super powerful vision. <laughs> Just reading it as it's uh, sitting down in the basket, or the, the blanket. Okay, what else should I do? Oh, more Stardew music. Cobblestone cushion, sounds comfy. Has a lot of that alliteration in it. <laughs> There's like one more spot over here that I don't really know what to fill with. I guess just trees and flowers, or, or maybe I can just sort of extend the party tree over a little. Uh, put some party items slightly to the left, just sort of extend the party tree. That'll be a good idea. I want to pick up this tree. I'm gonna devour all my fruit because I'm kind of tired of it being in my pockets. You know that feel when you eat all your fruit just to get a, rid of your pocket space and not because you actually need to move something right that second? I've done it many a time. Oh no, not the shovel. Uh, I was just thinking to myself like about the next giveaway and how the, the next giveaway like has a golden shovel DIY in it <laughs> and I just broke my shovel. So uh, this next giveaway here, since it's about the four hour mark, um, it's actually like a lot of Gulliver and Gulliver items and a few of like the extra flashy Gulliver items like I gave multiples of like it has multiple stone hinges and multiple nutcrackers multiple pagodas so it's like I gave you a nice little set of like a lot of the Gulliver stuff so you don't have to worry about like doing his errands as much um, he does talk your head off and um, get a few extras of the fancy ones so that's the the next giveaway and included is like all the golden tools too so that's another little hype aspect of of this giveaway is it's got all the the golden tool um diys if you want to go ahead and get those so let me just set this up And it's exclamation point enter to enter and I hope it interests some people. Alright, I'm not gonna forget this time. I'm gonna leave with my shovel. I like this song. It's nice and peaceful. From the Pokemon Sun and Moon games. Those were actually the last of the like recent Pokemon games that I played lately. I, I bought Pokemon Sword and Shield Generation, but I didn't play it. Ooh, we got the outdoorsy shovel today. This is actually like my favorite. 
Um, I was thinking of putting that aesthetically like in a few places in the Shire, so I'm gonna buy an extra one. But knowing me, I might need an extra one for other reasons than aesthetics. And uh, good luck everyone! Um, I'll be sure to close it in a minute so I don't forget again. Should we do a little Dusty check to see what Dusty's up to? Oh, Doesn't she look sweet and cozy there? Doesn't she look so pettable? And uh, hi Bettina! I can't believe I haven't set up my pipe like this whole time. I've just been like taking the long route. I'm gonna finally set up my pipe this time. I'll set it up like right in the middle of the party tree. The mouse villagers always remind me of Ginger. Oh, me too. And uh, Plucky always reminds me of you, Jules, <laughs> which makes sense. Ooh, butterfly models would actually look cute over here, here potentially, if I could find a way, a good way to incorporate them. I don't know about you all, but I always forget about like butterfly models. <laughs> I always forget that they're a thing. And then I see butterflies and sometimes it reminds me. All right, so let's pick the winner, shall we? Oh, it was Euphine. Oh, congratulations, Euphine. Um, I hope you enjoy and get some good use out of those items and don't have to bug uh, Gulliver as much for a while. Uh, let me send you that Dodo code your way and uh, check your twist Twitch whispers and come over with an empty inventory. There you go. And uh, let me know if you have any problems or anything. Uh, also, you'll want to keep walking until you see an open plot of hedges that has items in it. Because um, since we've had a few giveaways, some of the closest hedge enclosures are empty now. So you'll want to go to the one that's still got some stuff in it and it's open for you to access. Uh, so this is where I was thinking of putting an aesthetic uh, green shovel. Oh, thank you for that follow. Because uh, this area like has a lot of green in it. I want it to be like all green pumpkins and just like lots of green shrubbery and bushes. Um, even Murphy's house is kind of green, so. Oh, it like blends in with the bush though. <laughs> that sucks. Um, I wasn't really expecting it to look like that. It still looks okay though from this angle at least. It matches Murphy's roof. Stream, Dad. You don't even have New Horizons. <laughs> you better not enter. I'll disqualify you. <laughs> Fell asleep, but you're back. Oh, welcome back. I remember you saying that you've been um, up for a while, so you deserve that little nap. I'm actually surprisingly, like, not tired at all. Like, I'm doing really good for how early I got up this morning. Might be able to... Watch a bit of cozy, cozy Netflix later as I try to be productive before bed. And I want to go and get some yellow mums, which are on my other beach, I guess. Yeah, and congratulations! Oh, it's a shame that even though um, I enjoy decorating my island so much for aesthetics, it's um, annoying kind of trying to traverse the beaches because in some ways I almost try to like hide the beaches, but it makes them annoy. Oh, speaking of Gulliver, this is so weird. Like I was just doing a giveaway about him and he's like right here. <laughs> I'm in the middle of May Day, but I'll wrap up and head over soon. Oh yeah, no rush, really. I actually did that giveaway on time, so I don't have to do another one back to back or anything. I don't 
don't know, maybe I don't need to carry so many saplings around. Maybe I can drop some of those. Oh, you want to redeem some cat treats, Hydro Kappa? Do you have enough? Yeah, this will be good. And maybe I can get a few bushes while I'm over here. Oh, did you send me another cushion, Jules? Just in case. Uh, so in case I need to use it for something else. Thank you for that. Let's get all like the spring core flowers. White cosmos, yellow mums, white mums. A few bushes. Yep, I had a feeling. I had a little sixth sense that my pockets were going to be full then, and I was right. <laughs> I should trust myself and my instincts. You're collecting sea creatures for bells? Oh, I had um, one of my mods tell once that uh, that is a good way to grind for money. That wasn't really on my radar. Um, yeah, apparently sea creatures can tend to go for a lot. Added you as a friend on the Switch. Oh, thank you. I'll add everybody later so I can preserve the privacy of everyone's profiles and stuff. I'll go through and um and add everybody. Thank you for the friend request. What was I doing? Oh, I love this song. This song is so nice. Oh, it's out of stock? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I did that because um, I thought it would be excessive to give too many cat treats in a single stream. Uh, to be honest, I don't really have a lot left here. <laughs> but I can see how it's tempting because she's, she's right over there and you want to use uh, your treats on her. Um, would you accept pets as well, or you want to save it for, for treats for another time? Yeah, and if y'all want, I can uh, go and put on the cat cam for fun and, and just like give her some pets that might be cute. This is too many trees. Yeah, I feel like sometimes like there's like this element of a uh, tree claustrophobia and you need to like give the trees room to spread out a little. Um cuz empty space among the trees actually helps quite a bit. Like it helps make the shadows of the trees have more of an impact. Like when you're walking along and you like see the shadows that the trees cast, it can really create a cozy effect and if they're all like bunched together in like one spot you don't really see the shadows as much oh yeah sure clova um yeah i don't really have a whole lot of friends on this switch so i'm not um very picky about it i do have multiple uh switches. Uh, there's my friend code. And uh, here's the large young hardwood here. Wow, why is that such a bright green? Why does that keep happening to me? Such a bright green. And uh, since I can't see that like over that other tree, I might make that like a, a bigger tree. Dang, that's a lot of money for sea creatures. That's not wrong about what I heard about that being such a good source of income. 
Uh, early on in the game, I did like a lot of fishing and I also got into the stock market as soon as I could. It's actually kind of a nostalgic part of the beginning of the game for me was um, converting all those millions and millions of bells into turnips basically and kind of gambling on it and checking all the discord servers for the good prices and stuff i feel so bad i never like check my turnip prices anymore because i usually just assume they're going to be terrible um i'm looking for like a regular size tree it looks like there's one over here technically but i might be using it Whatever, I'm gonna take it. Oh, you do uh, sea diving yourself, Masella? I'm kind of surprised. I don't do a whole lot other than decorating, to be honest. I'm a little bit one dimensional, but I think maybe when I finish uh, by water, I'll really enjoy just getting to play in this island for leisure and enjoy it in that way. Uh, let's see if that tree hits the spot. Yeah, I might like that a little better. It still isn't perfect to me though. Excuse me. I might go with it though because I think if I move it even more to the side there's going to be an awkward like blank spot so yeah let's just leave it there you caught another shark earlier heard evening on wednesday is the best prices for turnip yeah, I mean, um, there's like this thing called uh, Turnip Profit, which uh, got like a lot of use out of this game. Apparently, like all the Animal Crossing games have had this element of like turnip mechanics where there are certain weeks that are like spike weeks and then certain weeks that are crash weeks and um, if you have a spike week, I think they're more likely to happen like in the middle of the week. Uh, it's fascinating stuff and definitely making me nostalgic, like looking back at this game. Been quite a while since I've been on the, the turn of puzzle. That bridge is doing a lot of work. Oh, how so, frog? You mean I keep running across it? All right, let's plan some more shrubbery. Oh, this is the main street music, so cozy. Makes me wanna boot up New Leaf and uh, run around my, my old New Leaf town. Oh, you mean like it's just aesthetic? Oh, thank you, Frog. That is kind of a cool element of this, um, how this turned out, not gonna lie, because I didn't really plan on the bridge when it came to the the picnic. The whole plan with the bridge was to be like a, a double bridge moment right here. So I always think it's nice when you're town building, and I saw this um, in the town I toured early in the stream too, like when something that's like an element of your island can look good from multiple angles and enhance multiple areas. I think that's a nice quality. Yeah, that little daisy peeking out behind the tree is cute. Oh, thank y'all for the friend requests. Gosh, my heart just wants to put weeds everywhere, y'all. I gotta, like, rein in the weed as obsession. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> that came out, like, before I could monitor it. <laughs> that just came out wholeheartedly, innocently, talking about, like, Animal Crossing weeds. <laughs> I was thinking of nothing else. Oh, it's really 
Hydro Kappa. That's sweet. Uh, you know, I think I will uh, whip out my new leaf town for like a special event stream coming up. At the end of June, I want to do a special 10-hour uh, stream if I can work up the nerve. Um, I've never done a stream that long before, but I might whip out some of my old towns for um, an anniversary stream like that. Weeds are life, Doremi. I'm glad you agree. <laughs> Aw, thank you for the follow. What's the friend code? Ah, for my new leaf town or this town? For this one, it's exclamation point uh, by water FC, like as the command. I've uh, done it a few times if you want to scroll up. Can't spell weeds without we. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, the, the hobbits really do like them, uh, some pipe weed. They're all about that. <laughs> it's like all they talk about when they uh, leave the Shire. They're like, oh, I miss, I miss the pipe weed from the South Farthing. <laughs> oh, I wish I, I have me pipe, but I don't, I don't have any weed for it. <laughs> That's all they talked about. Aw, making me nostalgic for Lord of the Rings now. I'm gonna go and read some Lord of the Rings. I'm having a little bit of trouble with this uh, arrangement, not gonna lie. It's hard to get everything just right. Um, like my gut is telling me like I need more shrubbery. And uh, maybe I could do a butterfly model moment. <laughs> Oh no, I plucked the mom. F and chat. Not what I wanted to do. But yeah, maybe I could kind of like put a butterfly model behind a bush or something like that. Maybe that would be cute. Worth a try anyway. Let's go and get some butterfly models from storage. Oh, thanks for the F's in chat. And hi, John. How's it going? Welcome in. I hope you're having a good evening. Uh, John is also on Club Tortimer with me. What am I doing? Oh, yes. Butterfly models. Uh, let me know which one y'all think is the cutest butterfly model of them all. I'm thinking the common butterfly because it's yellow like the area we're working on but i also like the white butterfly what is that one called white butterfly <laughs> i can't remember they're all called like the same things common butterfly extra common butterfly Oh, okay, so these are the common ones, or the white ones. So the yellow one must just be called the yellow butterfly. Darn, I don't have one of those. I think I know where I can find one, though. Do I have one in this room upstairs? Maybe I can steal one. Oh, I thought I used one in this room. Nope, can't steal from there. Oh, and hi, Manders. How are you? Good evening to you, too. Hope you're having a good Saturday. And also, happy birthday, John. <laughs> Got a nice full uh, birthday dinner. Love me a good birthday dinner. I uh, hope you had a wonderful day, John. And uh, welcome into the Shire, where we're trying to create a cozy picnic spot for um, Frodo to hang out. Um, I really feel like I have to have these butterfly models somewhere, because I just don't know where, like, in my town I have those butterfly models where I can steal them. Do you all want to go on a little hunt, see if we can find these?
paper kite butterfly. You think that one would be good? Yeah, that one's like a lovely whitish color. Anything like white or yellow is fair game. Ooh, there's one. It's a tiger butterfly. I hate the base of the butterfly models though. Like, can I just have like a floating, inexplicable butterfly model that like doesn't have a base to it? I think it's a paper kite. Yeah, I do remember that one. There were a lot of those when I first got New Horizons. I was catching so many like paper kite butterflies. Uh, my favorite butterfly model of all is probably the Emperor butterfly, but it's not very like shy or aesthetic. The Emperor butterfly is like more for if you have like a blue color scheme or something like that. Oh, and hi, Britis. You're so what? <laughs> oh, thank you for the happy birthday wish for John Masella. Ooh, I just like kind of ran into Quilson. <laughs> we meet again. Or did that first meeting happen in my dream this morning? All right, we can't end on that note, Quilson. Stop being creepy. Ah, uh, spring. Time to shake things up and really throw everyone for a spin. Oh, don't worry, Rose. I'm just talking about maybe trying out a new shirt. Alfonso. I never see Alfonso. He's like never around. <laughs> yeah, he's even like introducing himself because he's never around. I'm going to go real hard today. going to play hard, snack hard, yell it's a me hard. I relate. I also want to snack pretty hard right now. I'm craving like a nice pizza or yeah, I'm pretty much just craving pizza. Well, our quest for butterfly models failed. Um, I don't really know. Maybe I can just get some uh, butterfly models that aren't the yellow one out and test those out. Roni. Oh, thank you so much, Roni. Thank you so much for gifting that sub out into the community. You're so sweet. I really appreciate the support, Roni. Uh, very, very kind of you. I hope you're doing well. Having a nice Saturday, Roni. <laughs> Where do I go for the drawing? I won? Oh, okay. Um, I sent you a Twitch whisper with the dodo code, uh, Yafin. Oh, uh, you're in, you're in the town. I can lead you back there if you want. If you want, I can kind of lead the way momentarily. So it's right here, kind of like where I'm standing. Feel free to go and grab them all. There you go. So we got ourselves some butterfly models to test out. Oh, thank you for the love and the hype in the chat. And for the biddies, thank you, Roni. Pro tip that I use for my island, place the butterfly models on a stone circle custom design. Whoa. Yeah, I wonder if there's something like maybe a pattern made specifically for the butterfly model to disguise it. Like it has no other purpose but to disguise the, the butterfly model. That's actually really smart and I wouldn't be surprised if there's something like that out there. Uh, just gotta find it. Let's have some weeds by this bush. I just wanna put weeds everywhere. Oh, thank you, Brutus. That's really sweet of you to say. Um, I uh, had like a bit of a rough mental health week, so y'all being here and getting to chat and hang out and 
the kind words uh, really means a lot and it's helping to lift me up after um, some anxiety times uh, earlier in the week. Wow, too many green mums in the same place, huh? <laughs> Oh, Ronnie, thank you. Uh, that sub went out to my emote artist. That's really cool, the way um, Arcade Panda will get to enjoy uh, their own emotes that they made. Uh, thank you so much, Roni, for the uh, additional gift sub. I really appreciate it. Uh, you're so kind. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for the, the love. I really wish that that, um, that mum wasn't plucked. <laughs> that's like the one thing that's bugging me. But other than that, I really like how everything's coming along. Other than the fact that I might be making it too cluttered, I really need to learn the art of like minimalism. The, the class in the art of minimalism was one that I did not take, one that I did not pass. <laughs> I only know clutter core, that's it. Caroline though, Caroline, if you're here, you, you are the, the queen of minimalism. Y'all should check out Caroline's Island. Uh, did you ever post it in Discord, Caroline? It's looking quaint and charming though, in a clutter core sort of way. Oh, thank you for the lurk, John. Ginger, hey! How's it going, Ginger? How goes it? How's your Saturday been? Cluttercore, that's you too. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing, and cluttercore can be valid, but sometimes I resent myself for not being able to pull off a minimalist look and not being able to like let my areas breathe but I guess clutter core is what's coming natural to me right now and uh, if I ever want to be adventurous and try something other than clutter core I can always like redo this area later um, but I want to try my best to like do the best I can with it right now because I'm actually at the part of Bywater where I want to start moving away from like, oh, let's just rough draft it. Let's just do it really quick and rough draft it. Like, I want to get more to the point where things look finished. Because that's at the stage of Bywater that I'm at right now. It's like I'm trying to finish it. So more and more I want to like really give it my all and try to design every last detail. I want to be able to release the dream address at some point. It's been okay. How has yours been? Yeah, mine's been uh, pretty decent as far as Saturdays go. I was uh, really busy like at work, um, but not in a terrible way. And uh, then when I got home, I had some kitty unwind time and prepared for stream and stream has been nice and cozy and supportive. I really enjoy like seeing the Shire start to come together other than all these like random messy parts everywhere. How about you? Have you uh, played in Ratopia some, Ginger? What have you been up to when it comes to your gameplay? Yeah, your island was amazing, Caroline. Everyone should go and check it out. <laughs> this is really funny. I planted all these pumpkins, wanting them to be green, and like not a single one was green, <laughs> practically. <laughs> That's just my luck. I want this all to be green pumpkins. And you can see I'm starting to do that over here. <laughs> I planted all of these and not a single one was green. Well, okay, a single one was green. <laughs> Yeah, everything's got to be green by Murphy's house. Oh, so sweet to see you all saying hi to each other. Oh, and enjoy, Mallory. Thank you so much, Roni.
Why are you crying, KK Slider? It's funny the way that I that I call you that. You know, that's like your your actual name. <laughs> KK Slider is, is in the chat. Ah, I like this spot. I think I want to replace that garden rock with like a real rock though. Like I think I want to try to spawn a real rock there. Oh, I love this song. It's so like emotional. Would have never guessed like a Pokemon Coliseum song would be this good. <laughs> No shade uh, Pokemon Coliseum, I guess. My best friend just got a Switch and New Horizons, so I've been helping her out. She's been kind of taking it easy on New Horizons because I feel burnt out. Oh, I'm sorry you're feeling that way, but that's uh, totally valid. And um, I'm glad you're getting to like help out your friend. That's really sweet of you. Should I put another butterfly model, like right in front of the picnic basket? Is that a good idea or a bad idea? Oh. Maybe you could even put it on the picnic blanket and it kind of blends in a little. I won't though, I'll put it off to the side here. Ooh, where did that go? <laughs> Did y'all see that? It landed all the way back there. I didn't mean for it to do that. Okay. Gandalf is still my favorite. Aw. Oh. Thank you, uh, Shy. You mean as far as a character, as far as a place in my town? Oh, and hi, Angie. It's great to see you. Um, how have you been, friend? Uh, what have you been up to? Listening to your favorite song and I have so many memories. Just, oh, uh, nothing hits quite like your favorite song does. That's really understandable. Um, my favorite song is like a New Order song. All right, well... I'm getting to the hard part of arranging where you just kind of have to trial and error a million times, see where you like flowers where. And I think I'll, I'll like it a lot better once I can like pluck all my weeds, or, or grow all my weeds rather. Uh, all my weeds are sadly short, I want them to grow nice and tall. And I want some white mums too. Let's go and get some white mums from the beach. Oh, and hi, Lenore. Came back from an Italian restaurant. That sounds amazing, Lenore. I'm sorry your throat hurts, Roni. Take care of yourself. Stay hydrated. End up being so busy. Oh, you're fine, Angie. You lived your you live your busy life. I'm always here if you uh, want to unwind and kick back to some Animal Crossing decorating. But uh, you go and live your life, Angie. I like how your bridges are. Oh, thank you, Britis. Yeah, I like those diagonal bridges too. Um, it was like a little bit of a challenge to figure out how I would use um, all my bridges in Bywater because um, I didn't really have like a big river system. And in fact, I'm not using all eight bridges. I count like one, two, three, four, five. I'm only using five out of eight of the bridges, which I think is fair. You don't have to use all your bridges. I definitely gotta use all my inclines though, every single town. If anything that we need more of, it's actually inclines and not bridges. <laughs> you have a Gandalf in your town? Yeah, it's like a little fake Gandalf. I can I can show it on my way back. 
working so much. Oh, I'm sorry. My condolences. I hope work can uh, lay off for you. What sort of a uh, job do you have, if you don't mind me asking? It's okay if you don't want to answer. All right, so this is the Gandalf build. It looks best uh, from far away, but it actually looks okay at this angle too. It's just like a little Gandalf riding off into town, sort of like how he does at the beginning of the Lord of the Rings movie. Oh, it's sweet to know what your favorite song is, KK Slider. Oh, you love New Order 2, Jules? Yeah, my favorite song is uh, Ceremony by uh, New Order. Oh, and hi, Iris. I hope you had a nice dinner. You're short-staffed, short -staffed, Angie, been doing doubles. Uh, that doesn't seem fair to you, but at the same time, um, uh, well, I guess it depends on how you feel about it. Some people like picking up extra hours and stuff. Jealous, I want Italian. Me too, I've been like craving pizza all day, even though I have pizza like way too much as it is. <laughs> Fantastic use of your bridges. Oh, thank you, Iris. Means a lot from you. And uh, good night, Angie. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, see you next time. I have to get up early to um, whenever I have to work. Fortunately, I'm off tomorrow, so I feel you about those like early shifts and early hours. Um, have a great day at work tomorrow. I hope it's not too difficult for you. Ah, uh, man, these two green mums next to each other are bothering me. I guess I should just, like, change one of them to white. That's probably the solution. Uh. Or change one of them to yellow. <laughs> Oh yeah, welcome in, um, Lenore. Yeah, we might like wind down at some point since um, we're about four four hours in, but we get to see the, the tail end of it. A CNA? Oh, I don't know what that stands for. I'll have to Google that later. Uh, but thanks for Stopping by, Angie. Great to see you. Wow, dang, Roni. That's crazy. Roni, thank you so much for that gift sub. Thank you so much for uh, gifting a sub to Angie. That's really, really sweet of you, Roni. Three months of it to Angie. Uh, wow, I don't know if anyone's ever done that before. Thank you so much for all your uh, sweet support tonight, uh, Roni. I really appreciate you. Have a wonderful one. Uh, that wonderful one was to Angie and you too, Roni. I hope your throat feels better. I'm just so, like, uh, blown away right now. Sorry if I sound like a uh, blathering. <laughs> if I sound like blathers. Right. I wish I could just magically make these weeds fully grown. It's so hard to decide where everything goes. Oh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, Angie. Oh, I love you all so much. So great to have you here. Love my forest fam. Such a sweet community that I never would have thought I could have found here when I when I started humbly back in the late 2019 and didn't know what I was doing and <laughs> my first stream I didn't know how to set the bitrate correctly and it was unwatchable. <laughs> anyway, um, just feeling all mushy. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, New Horizons wasn't even out back then, and I was just, like, playing Wild World and stuff. I'm trying to get this, like, Jacob's Ladder visible. 
like <laughs> I like the Jacob's ladder and I want it to be perceived. You gotta like move it a million times so it can be per perceived. Do y'all recognize this music? Do you know what it is? Uh, I'll give a... I was about to say I'll give like channel points, but I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I'll give a brownie points to whoever knows what this song is. <laughs> to perceive the Jacob's Ladder. Yeah, I think I, think I can perceive it now a little. Oh. Whatever, it's, it's good enough. Maybe you can perceive it from certain angles. <laughs> it, it matches that other Jacob's Ladder over there. You see that other one in the corner? It's like it's uh, opposite buddy. Yeah, I'll be sure to post the blanket design in Discord later. I didn't make it, it was uh, someone else. I really like it too though. All right, I think this is starting to look more filled out and I want to keep in mind I don't have to fill like every single space. So yeah, this has definitely been a really successful start to a build here. My only thing I'm worried about is that I want so many weeds everywhere and not all, not all of them can be tall. It'll really be uh, heartbreaking to have to narrow down <laughs> the weeds that I want. And uh, maybe while I'm decorating, what should I do instead of this tree stump? Because I don't like the tree stump. <laughs> what should I do instead of that? Are you all a fan of the tree stump? Because I'm not. Tree stump's not vibing, in my opinion. My dentist says to get the wisdom teeth out sometime. I'm scared to get them out. Ah, uh, yeah, I've uh, been there and it's definitely not fun, but it doesn't last forever. You'll go through a few, like maybe like a painful day or something. Um, make sure to take that time off for yourself to heal whenever it happens. Um, but, I mean, look at me now. Uh, I guess what I'm trying to say is that it might be a little bit of a discomfort for a time, but it's not gonna last forever or anything. Should this be a rock? Yeah, maybe we should try a rock there. Or a butterfly model? <laughs> Since we're all about the butterfly models today. How do you get a Jacob's Ladder? They're pretty. Oh, uh, from getting a perfect town, right? Don't they like spawn at the edge of cliffs when you have like a perfect town rating? And good night, Angie. Haven't been able to see what's happening in Bywater in so long. I hope I can make you proud, Angie. It's it's really close to done, other than like a million things. <laughs> but it is pretty close to done. Ooh, should we see who uh, who lost their their weed stash? <laughs> that's what I like to call this, because that's kind of what my item is over um, in Bilbo's area. Like that's uh, kind of what, I bet it's Quilson's. Caught him red-handed. <laughs> He's trying to like look casual and stuff, but he totally lost his weed bag over here. You owe me an iced coffee. All right. No! Oh, come on. It's totally yours, Quilson. Okay, it's Victoria's. Let's go see if Victoria's home. Of course she's not. Oh, that's Pansetti's house. <laughs> what am I talking about? I'm like, oh, well, Victoria's not home either. Just getting my identical houses over here mixed up. Don't they look like exactly the same other than the door?
Oh, you're good, Ginger. You're you're the queen of puns. Between you and Shivy and I think Winter's done some good ones. Uh, my community's full of good punners. Thanks, Iris. I didn't really think of the butterfly models until um, I saw a butterfly fluttering around and I was like, ooh, wouldn't that be nice? Can't re really remember why. Oh, yeah, I think we we're gonna maybe go get a rock from my house. The mushrooms throw me off. <laughs> Not having to weed out the weeds. I know, I don't want to weed out the weeds. I want to have all the weeds. Could always do the classic hedge cypress combo. Yeah, the problem is, is I'm already doing the, the hedge cypress combo over there. So it's like, it's almost like too much of that one combo in one place. So I felt like I kind of had to break it up with something. Um, I'm gonna see real quick if anything stands out to me, like a tall garden rock or... I might just have to be another, a mystery for another day though, because that's really stumping me what to put over there. When they put me to sleep for my wisdom teeth, it was the best sleep I ever had. I actually found that really eerie. That was like the eeriest thing for me. Like when I got my wisdom teeth taken out was that I had never been like kind of put under before. Like I guess I had never done like major surgery or whatever. And it was the weirdest feeling I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Like, it felt like no time passed. When when you're sleeping, you feel like time is passing, but... I mean, it felt like I went under and then like, seconds later I was awake again. It was so weird. Uh, what am I doing? Oh yes, I was... <laughs> let, let us see, let us see. Does the tall rock work? Good night, Roni. Thank you so much for the the gift subs today and for your resub and um, you've been really, really sweet and I hope you have a good day tomorrow yourself, Roni. Thank you for being here. Have a good weekend. Uh, what do you all think of the tall rock, by the way? I don't know. Maybe I should just do a cypress plant combo. It'll just look extra dense over here. It'll look so dense. Did I miss any of the farm work by Murphy's house? Oh yeah, I can wander by there and you can see what I have so far. Although you might have seen it at the beginning of stream. I was awake for your- you- you were awake for yours with just local anesthetics? Oh, what was that like, princess? Was that- uh, was that really hard? Uh, so that's what the cypress looks like. Maybe that is the winner after all. Or maybe not. I guess I just feel like there's like so much of this in one area, so like that's why I keep trying to want to do like something different. Because there's so much of this in one area, you know? I felt like something just like landed on my hand. I kind of freaked out a little. Eh, maybe what I could do though is I could change some of the color of the cypress so that they're like different colors. Like the dark green one, maybe that would help like kind of break up the cypress a little. Uh, otherwise I just don't really know what to do. Or maybe I could put a rock in the far background and that would help break up some of the cypress a little without having it be like in the forefront. Anyway, I guess I'm a little stuck, but getting caught in the weeds here. Big 
they had Futurama playing above me, so I just distracted with that. Oh, I watched some Futurama, especially when it was on Netflix. Isn't it not on Netflix anymore? But yeah, I liked me some uh, Futurama. It's the source of like a lot of memes on the internet too. It was nice to see like some of the sources of the memes. I hadn't gone under anything before. My wisdom teeth, I remember feeling sleepy and hearing noise, but that noise has ended up being the nurse waking me up. Yeah, it's a weird feeling. I guess you don't really have dreams. Uh, maybe that's part of it. Like your dreams help you like pass the time. When I woke up from my wisdom teeth being taken out, I was trying to convince the entire dentist's office that I was a vampire. <laughs> Apparently I'm a vampire when high. <laughs> Jules, you are so funny. You've got like this like wild side to you. You're like a little bit, you know, you seem like a regular gal, but you got like a lot of quirk to you. <laughs> Waking up a little loopy. Need you to build forests for me? Oh, Veshram, thank you. You're so sweet. You build some amazing cities, Veshram. Maybe I can uh, come to help come to get your help the next time I do like a city core type island. Yeah, I want all of these uh, pumpkins to be green, Iris. So honestly, like if any of y'all have like freaking green pumpkins, feel free to hit me up and I will, I will, I will pay you for them. No, just kidding. I can probably just through RNG use my spicy switch to just spawn lots of pumpkin starts for me. Um, because I really want, I really want green pumpkins only. This is my farmland. Couldn't be awake during a wisdom teeth removal. Well, but with Futurama. <laughs> no, I mean, that sounds amazing that you did that. Kept making them give you more numbing. Yeah, you deserve that at least. <laughs> Sorry you had to go through that, uh, Princess Darcy, and it seems like unusual compared to what a lot of people go through with their wisdom teeth. Oh, thank you for getting that shout out for Vesharam. I saw like a little bit of that um, throwback stream that you were doing, Vesharam. Quite a flex of a last stream played <laughs> Neopets browser. <laughs> Great to have you here, Vesharam. My wisdom teeth were not even grown in when I had them pulled. They came directly out of the gum. No way I could have been awake for that. Oh no. Yeah, y'all are bringing back memories of like just how painful that was and how weird it was of an experience uh, going under and stuff. Well, I think I want to have some uh, campfire cookware over here. Maybe we could uh, put like a little campsite and have fun building that for a few minutes oh my gosh the sunset is everything i love it my favorite sunset you like the farm area iris oh i was hoping you would like it 99 percent sure no one should be awake during a wisdom teeth pull yeah i mean it sounds like that to me too you have a lot of green pumpkins veshram hmm you might be using them though. <laughs> like you might, you might be using them. I don't want to take them if you're using them for something. I remember asking what time it was and thinking my bottom lip was a wet paper towel on my chin because it was so numb. Oh, yeah. I remember being really sore. Um, like my mouth was just sore and it was really hard to like eat stuff. Like, it was just a weird feeling, like, knowing that you needed to, like, eat stuff like usual to go on. And then, like, it was so painful, too. It was, it was a really weird experience. So maybe for the camping area, we can put away, like, some of the farm stuff that I have and get some more camping stuff out. 
Oh, you have uh, green pumpkins as well? Uh, well, don't spend all of them on me, but um, I'm definitely open for a trade if y'all want anything in return. <laughs> My brother said I should become a full-time Neopets streamer. <laughs> I never played Neopets, but one game that I saw someone do that was like really hitting home for me as far as a nostalgia kick. Well, one is Roller Coaster Tycoon, and another one I think is called Pajama Sam. Oh my gosh, yes. Have any of you uh, ever played Pajama Sam? That brings back so memory, so many memories for me. I played the heck out of that game. I want to watch that on Twitch. I'm going to go through the, the Pajama Sam category on Twitch later. You played that, Vesharam? Am I going to have to find that on your VOD? <laughs> you played that? You have green uh, pumpkins as well, Ghost Ninja. Oh, thank you uh, so much for everyone's offers. Um, I'll be around in Discord later and tomorrow if anyone wants to trade. Uh, Hydra Kappa, we were talking about like getting wisdom teeth taken out because poor Roni might have to um, get their wisdom teeth taken out. So it came up in that way. And apparently um, someone in the chat like didn't didn't go under for it and they were just under like local anesthesia, <laughs> which sounds like a nightmare. And uh, thank you so much uh, for the lurk. I prefer birth over dental work. Prefer birth over dental work? Wow. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, I've never given birth before, but I've heard it's like peak of pain. And uh, the only thing that maybe I could mentally compare with it is probably like some really bad cramps or something which I have experienced before I wonder if that's a little taste of what giving birth feels like I don't know maybe I got some uh, campfire items maybe we can get some campfire cookware as well you love zoo tycoon as a kid I like the roller coaster tycoon and I like to make the parks and Put the bathrooms and the, and the <laughs> watch people like uh, throw up on the pavement and it was just such a goofy game like are you serious like no one does this like in a in a amusement park no one just like barfs all over the place uh, such a goofy game Amy and Vesharam pajama Sam co-stream win <laughs> <laughs> that would be so nostalgic for me. I would cry. I have not played it since I was a kid. I have not played it at all. So where's this campfire cookware? Where Where is it at? When are we getting the search bar update to this game? Oh, is it not even like a DIY? Oh, okay. I guess that explains it. I guess I gotta search in here. Oh, I guess that explains it, Princess Darcy. Some uh, dentists trying to stray away from putting people asleep because it's medically unnecessary and can cause liver, liver damage. Yeah, as, I guess as long as it doesn't happen excessively or whatever. <laughs> oh, that's funny, Vesharam. We start at the same time and see who can beat Pajama Sam first. Yeah, like I have, for anyone who doesn't know what I'm talking about, like I have, um, basically like I pulled it up over on my Google and it's making me like nostalgic as heck just because I wanted to like see these images again. Um, here it is. Like, I guess what makes me nostalgic, first of all, like this guy, like I totally remember this. This is bringing back memories I didn't know I still had lodged in my brain somewhere. And, uh, oh my god, these freaking doors! What the f- 
I re why do I remember this stuff? Why do I remember this? I'm freaking out. I'm so sorry for, for the freak out. Oh, the shed. The shed. <laughs> and uh, let's see if I can find the roller coaster uh, tycoon game that I played. Oh yeah, I totally played something like this. It, it looked roughly like this. Yeah, I think I played something like this. Was this the first one? I don't know. This was when it was starting to get too fancy. I don't think I played this one. Yeah, it was like this one that I played. Alright, back to Animal Crossing or attempting to. <laughs> I guess I don't have the campfire cookware. F and chat for that. Cramping is the worst part. If you can handle severe cramping, you can handle it. Oh, yeah. Uh, good to know, I guess. Thrillville? Uh, was Thrillville like a similar sort of game, Strawberry? It's on Steam for six dollars. Ooh, I gotta get it then. Uh, the only thing I've bought on Steam is Among Us. I'm such a casual gamer. <laughs> Alright, well, I think I'll have to maybe save some of the campsite stuff until another time. Maybe I'll use the wooden bucket as like a stand-in for campfire cookware. Didn't know I didn't have that item. Hey Ellie! I hope you're doing well too. Thank you so much for four months, Ellie. A fours one heart, a fours one joy. Hope you're doing well, Amy3. Oh, thank you for getting that shout out for Ellie, Ginger. Um, thank you so, so much. I really appreciate it. I've loved uh, having you here, part of the Force fam, and seeing you over like in Mori's streams and community as well, and just uh, getting to know you, and you're so sweet and lovely. Thank you so much, Ellie, for your support and your kindness, and for the love and hype and chat. And uh, by the way... Uh, with that, it is time for our next giveaway, if anyone's um, interested in the next one. Let's see what it is. Oh yeah, this is, um, I have to admit, for like the later giveaways, I go back to basics. Sometimes I try to be creative, but if I make every single one of my giveaways be creative, it takes too long, so. <laughs> um, the next giveaway, we could either do Nook Miles tickets or Bells. I'm not really sure which one is more hype. Which one are y'all feeling? Nook Miles tickets or Bells? What's like the cool thing that y'all need these days? <laughs> which one is more useful? Do you gotta just like pay off lots of inclines and home loans? Or are you villager hunting? Um, what do you all need? You forgot about that game too, about Pajama Sam. You you played it too? Did just like everyone play that game? It's like a shared universal memory is, is Pajama Sam. <laughs> Pajama Sam event for the win. <laughs> the doors unlocked a memory. Yeah, I didn't really remember those until I saw them. Totally remember them now. Is Among Us fun? I've thought about getting it, but haven't heard too much about it. Um, it is fun. Uh, we've played it in Discord before. Um, so it's kind of a fun, like, play it with stream community sort of game. Like, we could boot it up in, in Discord and have voice chat on and... It's basically like an accusatory game, like you try to figure out like who's the one that's killing everybody and whoever is killing everybody is trying to hide it. So they'll like be like, oh no, that wasn't me. I, I was I was doing a, something over here. And uh, so it's like a trickster sort of game, a mystery game. Um, I'm not particularly good at it, but it is fun. 
And I don't think Among Us is that expensive either, so... Oh, thank you, Ghost Ninja. Yeah, I think I have a campfire cookware in my other island, so at the very least I can do that. So, Nook Miles, half tickets, half bells, Nook Miles, Nook Miles. Sounds like a lot of you are saying Nook Miles. Um, I guess a, a lot of y'all are like set out for bells probably, like you... Um, won it big in the in the turnip market or something. So let's do the Nook Miles tickets. All right, so this is a full inventory's worth of Nook Miles tickets, y'all. Uh, feel free to enter the, the giveaway with exclamation point enter. And I'll send the dodo code to whoever, whoever wins. Among Us is fun, but I prefer not being the imposter. <laughs> yeah, I don't really like being the imposter either. Although one time it was kind of fun in the sense that I took on this new strategy where I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to try to hide being the imposter. I'm just going to like run around and try to kill everybody. And I did that with Ginger. I don't know if you remember that, Ginger, but like I, I was like chasing you around. <laughs> I ended up not succeeding in, um, in killing Ginger, so Ginger was just kind of like at the meeting. She was like, yeah, Amy was just like chasing me around. <laughs> it was really funny. Uh, I was being a little noob. I was like, no, no, I wasn't. I wasn't, I wasn't chasing you around. I was just, you know, trying to <laughs> run to this other room here. So I guess that's the kind of shenanigans that gives you a, a taste of like what it's like and what you get up to. It can lead to some funny moments like that. You love being the imposter, uh, Jules. I'm sure you're, you, you strike me like you would be a good, like smooth imposter. I can believe that. And uh, good luck everyone. I'll be sure to wrap it up shortly so that I don't forget. And um, this is my little campground area. I like to think of it as the place where uh, like Frodo and um, company like camped out on their trip away from the Shire and then they like met the elves in the forest. So I'd like it to be nice and um, foresty and overgrown. Gotta have the right like mixture of everything. Like, I think I'd rather have green mums there where that, like, yellow mum is, just to preserve the, the greenery of everything. I always panic when I'm the imposter. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really good. Some people say that you can, like, sabotage things and, like, go through the vents, and I guess I'm not a fancy imposter. I just run around and try to kill people. <laughs> All right, let's see who won the giveaway. Uh, like, I think in general, uh, you get better at Among Us the more that you play it, though. And I, I just really haven't played the hell out of it, you know, because you know me, I'm, I'm just always playing Animal Crossing and stuff. <laughs> I don't have time to get good at other games. I, uh, I suck at Mario Kart, too. It's just kind of my way of life that I um, suck at stuff that's not Animal Crossing. All right, let's see who won. Uh, thanks for your interest in the giveaway. And, um, oh, congratulations, Yellow Roses, right after you popped in with that, um, resub. And you were, you were blessed with, uh, winning the giveaway. Let me go and send you that, uh, dodo code and can come and, come and get your Nook Miles tickets. All right, there you go, and it's in the very back. You're gonna have to walk down that corridor until you see those piles of Nook Miles tickets, because this is uh, one of the final um, giveaways of the evening, so you're gonna have to walk for a little bit. I hope it makes sense. Oh, thanks for the hype and love and chat. What a great way to incorporate the campsite, very tucked away and perfectly near a river for 
Natural aesthetic. Oh, thank you, Iris. I like it better when the tint is there. I think that's what I included like in my go live tweet that I did earlier. I think I had it um, with a tint. In fact, it was a natural tint. I didn't even scan an amiibo or anything. It was just like one of those days where I happened to have a tint. And I didn't even go and see who was inside. Aren't I just heartless? I was like, don't know, don't care. <laughs> Need to empty your inventory? Yeah, you'll definitely want to, but no pressure or no rush or anything like that. And um, I guess we can uh, probably start to wind the stream down here today since um it's getting kind of late and i'm feeling like a little bit um unsure what to tackle next um it's mostly just i guess the foresty area would be the continuation of what we would continue to do and whatnot but uh thank you all so much for uh watching tonight and it really um meant a lot to me to like have such a cozy stream here with you all and have such a nice conversations and amazing support. Thank you all for hanging out with me as I uh, work on Bywater. And I think though, like as we're wrapping up though, um, I want to go to a few of my favorite spots since it's such a cool sunset. Let's check out some favorite locales and stop by the locale that we worked on today. This is our, our Frodo reading a book spot. Uh, do y'all think I should have like a little path over to the Frodo spot? Maybe like a hidden one um, over here? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Cause I feel like you gotta have a path over to the Frodo spot or else you're just not gonna see it. But yeah, the cool thing about this is the way you can see those like cypress in the background and see the 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 bridge. I don't know. It's quite an aesthetic little area. Oh, I love you all too. Thank you. Thank you so much for the love. Oh, I'm so happy to have uh, met you too. Um, thank you so much for being here. Good night, everyone. Good night, Lenore. Glad you had a cozy wind down after your Italian. It's time for me to go find something to eat, I guess. <laughs> and good night, Danny and Yellow Roses, or Ellie, I should say. And good night, Rivendell and Masella. Yeah, if any of you want to um, <laughs> trade for green pumpkins, uh, call me. And good night, Besharam. <laughs> Thanks for the pajama Sam reminiscing. Good night, Manders and Doremi and Lemons and Mallory. And uh, thank you for uh, dropping the socials uh, mods. Uh, so lovely uh, to hang out here with you all tonight. And I might see you all tomorrow because um, tomorrow I've... Uh, I might be making up for the fact that I didn't stream yesterday, so uh, maybe we can get up to more uh, by water detailing tomorrow. Bye everyone, good night. One last little peek at Dusty. <laughs> oh, I guess she's not even really looking at the camera. All right, bye. Now, hold now, hold me quick now, meet now.